The Esoteric Order of Roleplayers present The Great Pendragon Campaign by Greg Stafford with David Larkins as the Game Master and Desiree Valdez as the Adversary. thing to do is find out whether Sir Aaron will be returning. Yeah, it's true. That'll determine whether or not Sir Arcade gets married this year. Uh, well, he may still try to get married. But right. that. Here we go. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. Good, good. That doesn't help. <laughs> What did I do with your character sheet? Oh, somewhere. that's a good it. sign. All right. No, I just saw it. <laughs> uh, short answer is no. He will not. Oh, okay. Okay then. There we go. There he is. <laughs> so he's crazy for another year. Well, he's crazy for another six months. Oh, okay. So um, he could he could show up back at his manor. Lit and come winter. Mid year, yeah. Is there a chance for a person to die while they're off uh, being crazy? Um, not by this chart. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's really incredible, too, isn't it? It's, it's, uh... Strategy. Um, yeah. yeah. It's a strategy. <laughs> now that I know I can't die. I know. Yeah. Hmm. Try to really fumble those rolls before big battles. Mm. Yeah, exactly. All right. Exactly. Okay. All right. Send in your backups to deal with the meat grinder. Exactly. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, yearly events. Okay, totally. Twelve. Hmm, okay, let's see what happens for Wolfram and his relations. Ah, uh, relations. Roll mm. lustful. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. Lustful. Fail. Okay, good. Um, okay, roll your fealty. Oh, here it is. All right, hold on. Uh, pass that. Okay, roll your honor. Mm, pass that. And courtesy. Mm, courtesy. Fail that. Okay. Um, all right, well, basically, I, I, we already know the answer to this, but... Um, Go ahead and check your fealty and your honor, at least. Got you that much. Radio. And essentially, you can court a lady this year mm-hmm. if you um, challenge her brother first. Okay. What do you think? Is there anyone who would be a good, a good match? I mean... Um... Hmm. I am... Lady uh, Mordicus, Morcades. Morcades. She didn't. Uh, My wife. Yeah, exactly. Aaron's wife. That's exactly well, right. Yeah. She's super spiritual. That's yeah. She would have been a good match. She yeah. would have. But Fortunately, she's off the market. Uh, sorry. As of now. As of now, yeah. As of now. Um. I don't know. What are you looking for? What are you looking for in a match? Ah. Uh, an interest in uh, hospitaling. 
Someone with a degree someone in hospitality exa- management. Exactly. Someone, someone who's interested with, in grail. Someone with some chirurgery. Yeah. <laughs> Grillian knight. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Well, I guess um, the Roman lady Triamor um, has kind of a notoriously caustic personality, but mm. she does have high spiritual uh, and chaste, and also has a 15 in chirurgery and a 16 in first aid. That's my woman. Okay. She'll hate you, but... That's fine. She'll run your hospital. Yeah. This is going to be turned into like a regular episode of Scrubs. I welcome her hatred. Oh <laughs> Welcome to <her> hatred. <laughs> okay, so in that case, yes, you will have to challenge. All right. Challenge. Challenge, exactly. yes. Mm. Uh, so roll a d6. All right. A one. Oh, okay. You have to challenge her squire. Roll another d6. A five. Okay, so um. You were challenged to a combat on horse to first blood. And so, basically, you're going to roll against a weapon skill of your choice. And because you rolled a one, it's going to be at a minus five. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Maybe you failed a passion roll or something. Oh, yikes. Yeah. Alrighty then. But uh, (laughs) here we go. Cheers. 20 to 20? Mm Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. All right. You can do it. Oh, God. Nope. I missed it by one. You missed what? Oh. oh. I missed it by one. Oh, crap. And I rolled Spear Expertise, minus five, five. makes it 14, mm-hmm. rolled a 15, oh. missed it. Ouch. Ouch. All Ouch. right, well, clearly it is not God's will that you marry. Not yet, not yet. Ah. All right. All right. Still, it's worth free for the white Ah, the red woman to come of age. Yeah, and yes, I gotta exactly. pay for a lot of stuff. The so. white rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yearly event for Sir Arcade. Who are we on to? Sir Arcade, okay. Uh, that's a crit 20. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, super bad luck. Yeah, yeah. Oh my it's, god. See, oh I think god. that should be the prophecy event. Although I like what? I like natural 13 being one, but natural 20 should be, I think. But anyway, what bad fortune. your characters go insane? Oh man, wouldn't that be great? That I'd have to like up netting really fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, go ahead and roll d20 for bad fortune. All right, fourteen. Okie dokie. Pay one d6 Libra or lose armor. I'm gonna pay one d6 Libra. How much? Six. Eh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's not so bad. I have access to the uh, to the Sir Aaron uh, mm, treasury. Yeah. Mm. Oh, cool. And you know the thirty some odd Libra that he had on him, or that was in his tent when he went crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Alrighty. All right. Well, that's yearly events. Um. Okay. All right. Roll your checks. Come on, Falconry has to go up. Yep. All right. <laughs> At least one thing needs to go up. <laughs> hey, just think about it this way: if you're playing a BRP, this, this represents five percent uh, added to your skills. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Maybe if it doesn't go up, that's only because you added a two percent to it. Hmm. Indeed. Yes. Still need another one of those levels. All right. Mm-hmm. Can I roll to see if my hospital is completed? Almost. Almost. All right. First, the aging roll. Oh, wow. Speaking uh-huh. of ending up in the hospital. Mm-hmm. I forgot. What do we What do? We do? Uh, uh, 2d6. Two two six. Six. Yeah. Age yourself a year and roll 2d6. I got a one and I got a six. Uh, so seven is actually, I think, that's good. good. Yeah. Uh, that means you don't roll anything, right? That's right. That's a that's a zero stat loss. Yeah. All right. Right. And Sir Arcade's only 34, so Ha-ha. huzzah. All right, way to beat the odds. Yeah. All right, yeah, and go ahead and uh, age up your squires and all your... Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, your staff. Where? Where? Yeah. All right. Okay, so he's going to be 17. Nope. Wait, D6, Dave, D6. Nope. Yes! Battle again! Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
<laughs> Who are these squires going to like Battle Academy? I guess we have one at like Newton Tony. We just teach them all the horsemanship in battle, apparently. You know, just a big flat table moving tokens around with long, yeah, long sticks, right. you know. Yeah, telephone. seriously. Telephone in the background, <laughs> teletype machine cooking away. Uh -huh. Alright, so, and then my. Everyone's speaking German. For some reason. reason. Old old German. Mm. Nope. And my chaplain. Nope. And. More. Hades. More Mordecai. Nope. Alright, still don't have to choose what she's good at. Oh well. Uh, me. <laughs> me. Okay, so now is economics, so collect your annual income and then roll stewardship. See if this damn hospital finally got built. Okay, any reductions in income this year? No. Okay. Yes. All right, we'll yes. Get, All right. It's getting built this year. Good. So. Chapel. Um, I decided that since you befriended Bishop Roger last year. I did. And you're a uh, you're known yes. uh, knight of uh, upstanding character and quality. Um, that the uh, the church is going to uh, do matching funds on your hospital. So, your choice, you can either um, have it be the same size you're planning on and just cut your annual maintenance in half, or double it and you won't have to pay extra, but you'll get double glory. I am I am going to, to leave it the same size, because mm -hmm. I didn't know how I was going to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> you put your faith in the Lord. Exactly, and, and then look what happens. This yes. is how life is. All right. Great. So the chapel got built, and okay. I think last okay. year I got a uh, I got an omen that said if Sir Aaron built a chapel, he'd get a boon. Yes. <laughs> uh, does that apply even when he's off crazy somewhere? Um. Yeah, sure. I'll make a note of it. I'm perfectly willing for it not to apply because he's crazy. Oh no. I think I, it should. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think yeah, you can definitely. Good things can happen in. to crazy people. Exactly. Really? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> That's just how it's built this year. Okay, so boon for Sir Aaron. Oh, it's wow, this is lovely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's this uh, mama bird who's been sitting on her nest for longer than it seems like she should reasonably have. So, uh, are there any eggs in there? We don't know. Oh, the, no. the dad keeps coming by and feeding her, though. But uh, maybe Something's she's just got right. a racket going on. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. She's very loud whenever he comes by. I bet. <laughs> like, feed me! Alright. Okay. Hello, Jade. Hello. Hello. Alright, shall we back it up then? So we're just doing winter phase. Uh, we've gotten up to economic circumstances, so we'll go back to yearly events really quick, y'all. Brendan coming? Do we know? I don't think he is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I saw him this morning and I asked him if he was seeming a little, I'm not really sure. Alright. Yeah, so I'm assuming if he's not here then yeah. he's not going to be here. Yeah. Be here. Yeah. We'll conclude that then. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that would be a 20, right? Indeed. Okay. <laughs> that is a 10. A 10 is relations. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right, you're married. I am. Okay, so go ahead and roll chaste or your love wife passion. I don't have a love wife passion. So it's just a chaste. Oh, I failed very badly. <laughs> oh boy. You didn't okay. bumble, did you? No. Okay. But I had a six and I got an eighteen. Ooh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so. He's a pagan knight. Well done. Yeah. Well. So <laughs> roll. Um, so. Not exactly the chase type. Nope. Nope. So roll flirting. I succeed. Appearance. I succeed. And your choice of dance, play, or sing. Let's go play. I also succeed. Wow. Hey. 
I think that's the first time someone's actually done that. Do I yeah. get a check in Heart Play? You get a check in all, well, you don't get a check in App, but you get a check in Play. In heart. And Yeah, you get a check in Play and uh, check in Flirt. I was going to say you get a check in all three, and then I realized. <laughs> mm-hmm. App. Yeah, could, doesn't yeah. work. Okay, well, this is interesting. Um, <laughs> Because it just says this. It's, okay. it's one of those one of those entries that just kind of makes a statement and then just kind of walks away, drops the mic and walks away. <laughs> so um, it says a rich widow tries for one d six years to get your attention. Oh. I'm not sure what that implies or means, but. Um, let's see, let's roll a d six. <laughs> Three years. Wow. All right. Well, I think uh, good old lady Guayona is a rich widow. Oh. So. Um, oh. Oh God, Cormac's gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, his old crush. Aww. With whom he has a bastard. That's right. Yep. Oh, oh boy. Yes. One of his many bastards. Yeah. One of his herd of bastards. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I guess it just means you've got Lady Guayona on the hook for, for that many years, and you can, you know, okay. call upon her for favors or yeah, right. gossip or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Or small one of six bastards. <laughs> Lady Guayona takes fancy. Yes, exactly. Fancy lad. All right. And, uh, yeah, just go ahead and roll your experience checks, age up a year, collect your annual income. Uh, oh, I brought Desiree some napkins. Hmm. I'm building a town enclosure this year. Sweet. It's a good one. Good yes. idea. Good yeah. idea. It's uncertain times. Yeah. 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 It's been quiet for too long. <laughs> I don't trust it. The town enclosure is a nice, nice feature. Yeah. Nice feature. Nice touch. Shows that you care. <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, my honor went back up. Oh, good. Stick Thanks. some towers uh, in there, and it'll be a higher defensive value than my entire, like, palace. Castle. <laughs> Complex. I want a palace now. <laughs> I have the cost for that somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, you can actually build a palace? I think they do have a palace in here, yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if you can't can build it. Can I build a battle school? <laughs> <laughs> you already have one. I mean, why spend money on it? Well, I, I need. I think I need to make it official. Right. Because like I've got this really good teacher, but you know the only students he has are my squires. Yeah. Okay. Apparently. Apparently. Because it's obviously none of the in- individual knights, because all of their squires are increasing their battle. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything that does increase your battle formally. We need to make a battle school. <laughs> I think that's just all they do is play mini war games. I went to Contemporary Hispanic Market, thought of you. That's pretty cool. You might enjoy that yeah. for your pulse game. Thank you. Hooray! <laughs> hey, I got a two in turn now. Yeah! Sweet! <laughs> yeah! <Nice. laughs> okay, alright, so I did all of that, and then after experience rolls was. Uh, aging. That's right, aging. Because now it's 506. This is winner of 506. Winner of 506, yeah. Yeah. And I'm gathering money. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm thinking, uh, I could have sworn I saw something that actually said Talus. But um, I guess I'm thinking of the Great Hall, ah, which is 50 libra. Mm. Well, that'll be after Sir Aaron comes back, I guess. Mm-hmm. Crack open the vault. And Three stories with with a entrance on the second floor. Damn. Yeah. Jesus. Would that be taller than my surrounding walls then? Like the the mountain. Uh, it might. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. That's imposing. That is imposing. That's significant, yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Anyway. Okay. Okie dokie. Alright, so experience rolls, money. Yep. All that. Okay, Squire. Um, oh, squire. Any hangers on? After he's 16, I rolled a d6, correct? Yep, to increase. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me. After 16, you roll a d6, and then what? When the skill hits 16. Yeah, you roll d6 for your skills. And, okay. and then if he has a 6, then he gets to level up. Thank you. After the age of 16. 
Okay, Squire will complete horse roll. Yes, horse on the horse yeah. rolls. Across oh, the board. Heck. Hooray. Oh, hey! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! No. Uh, my charger dies. Let's see how Shalange does, though. The intelligent horse. Shalange is fine. Okay, yeah. well. Switch over. Switching over to Shalange. Yep. I wonder how the intelligent horse feels about being your everyday horse. Proud or contemptuous? Mm. <laughs> Can you be both? Well, actually, he's been, uh, you know, he's been lazy for a little while, so, you know, ever since Sir Tathan died. And, uh, and you know, Sir Arcade is not as big as Sir Tathan was, so... Oh. So he's just been lazing about the house, eating sugar cubes? Yeah, morning. just, like, peeking in through windows and eating pies, you know. Typical intelligent horse behavior. Exactly. Right. Like, getting into all kinds of hijinks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, those of you who are married, make childbirth rolls. Those of you who are unmarried and wish to be married, you can make a marriage roll. Absolutely. Unless you want I, to court a named lady. In unless I just failed, right? At uh, doing exactly yeah, that's right. That. Yes, I got a exactly. six for childbirth. Oh, it's just a six, okay. I'll make a marriage roll. Ooh, all right. Care to grease the wheels at all? Yeah, like six Libra worth of greasing? Is that the max? That's Yowza. the max. Yowza. All right. Yowza. And uh, how old is Caradoc's wife? I don't know. I think I ask this every, every year. Well, she's a new wife, and so I have no idea. Oh, that's give her right. Because the tiny past. Yes. They've the been tiny married one now. Passed. Okay, well, in that case, Since, that's fine. Um, huh. When did they get married? Oh, in 504. Hmm. 504, okay. Yeah, that's that's another good shorthand. Just tell me when they got married. That'll give me an idea. Uh, so a six is no conception. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And marriage. Yeah. Okay. Do I need to roll Lady Guayona? No. Okay. Okay, so, um, have you ever been married before? Sir Arcade? No. Yeah. No? No. Okay. How old is Sir Arcade? 34. Oh my god. Okay. So. He's been on a quest. That's true. (laughs) That's true. Okay. No time for marriage when you're never home. True. Don't have one. All right, so roll d20 and add 16. Wow. Uh, 34. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> you uh, you marry a maiden, the daughter of a wealthy vassal knight. Mm-hmm. Dowry of 300 Libra. Holy crap! Oh my god! Well invested. Well invested. Uh huh. And uh, your annual income goes up by three. Wow. Damn. Problem. Yeah. I think when Sir Aaron comes back, I'll just let him slip into his dotage. <laughs> <laughs> We're Directly. not just stuck with the other stewards, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Here, and you can take the nice stable. <laughs> exactly. Save the stable just for you. All right. Well, well I wonder which who's, who the intelligent horse is going to pick. Uh, that's a good question. It's true. The horse might want to retire with him. Yeah. Ooh. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can afford a uh, a new charger now. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. Well, let me just write a three in front of these two numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, marriage does come before childbirth, so go ahead and make a childbirth roll. Okay. And see if she dies the same year you married her. Oh wait, quick, roll her app. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we got oh, yes. And the uh, and the year she was born. Right, right. Well, she's um, fifteen by default if it's on a random table. So. Okay, so she's fifteen. She's fifteen, and she knows how to take care of herself. Good. All right. App eighteen, not that. Oh my God, oh, that's nice. fantastic. Good job. That's eight. All right, so it's five oh six. Fifteen years ago, it was five oh one. Mm, no. 491. 491, that's right. I'm going to make her like five. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah. you know, if we were playing a strictly historical medieval uh, that could, RPG. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you'd be rolling for childbirth yet. No. Yeah. No. 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 Alright, rolling for childbirth. 491. Come on, baby. What's a 13? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Oh. No. What? Twins. Twins. Oh. Alright. Identical. I rolled a four and a four. Oh man. So identical sons. Nice. Well, that's okay. fun. Have fun naming them. Hopefully they won't turn out like the green and red bannerets. 
Or hopefully, depending on your perspective. <laughs> Right. Oh man, I gotta get her name, I gotta get their names. Uh huh. This is gonna be fun times, guys. Right. Names. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Twins. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what's going on elsewhere. Uh, Jen, go ahead and roll a d6 huh? for kin events. One. Roll the one, no kin events. Hooray. Jake? Six. Two. Two. Can events. <laughs> Two okay. d20 rolls, please. Uh, nine. Mm-hmm. And a 15. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Um, roll a d6 against the number of middle-aged knights in your family. Um, I got a six. I have four middle-aged mates. Okay. Excellent. So, um, what with all the wars going on, there's a lot of loot going on, you get a share of it to the tune of four Libra. Oh, woo! And then your other roll was a 15? Mm-hmm. Okay. Inspire your kin. So roll against orate, compose, sing, and play. Wait, can I impassion these? Um, I think uh, they, these are just straight rolls. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's new. Okay. So it was Ori. Although it is modified by your glory. Oh. Yeah. As I'm you pretty can. sure I still failed. Okay. I, it's one thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be plus two right now. Okay. okay. Right. So yeah, Ori, compose, sing, and play. Compose. Okay, pass, compose. Failed or eight. Past play. Mm -hmm. And past singing. Great. So I just uh, so, failed or eight. Alright, so check compose, sing, and play. And then add three to your total lineage men. about the kin events for Sir Arcade. I rolled a four. Uh, okay, so that's one event. All right. A uh, six. Okay. All right, so a distant cousin needs a champion to resolve a dispute after a fight. Uh, yes is a check to honor. No is lose one lineage man. Uh, honor... I'm gonna have to do honor since I have 21 honor. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like a, yep, I can lose stand to lose four points. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so, um, similar thing with challenge, mm. roll a d6. Three. Okay, so you'll be fighting at a minus two on your skill. Roll another d6. Okay. Two. On foot to first blood. Okay. Okay, so just go ahead and roll against your uh, skill at minus two. Okay. Fail. I failed as well. So again. So again. I succeed with a two. I succeeded with an eight. Okay. Ah. All right, so you lost the challenge, but... Uh, I checked my honor. You did check your honor, so that's, that's the main Yes. <laughs> be yes. All right, training and practice. Ah, yes. I'm back to a character that will increase statistics. Mm, yes. Uh, sorry, challenge. Size goes up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's the old baby <laughs> switch. Uh. So at which age do you stop um, applying points to statistics? 35? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just maxed out everything then with two 18s and a 20. 
What? In size, strength, and con. Oh my wow. god. Actually, con can go to 21. Oh, that's right. Eh. Size, <laughs> con 20. Eh. Wow. Eh. Eh. Yeah. And who knows, maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll rank up. <laughs> right. I always use those glory glory points to uh, boost things. <laughs> That's all I use them for. Yeah, exactly. Alright, speaking of glory, so Wolfram, uh, you won the melee last year at the tournament. Mm-hmm. And so I got the you silver goblet. And got the silver goblet, so. Grail yes, yes indeed. So you collected 330 glory. Yay! Caradoc, 200. Arcade, since he came in late, late yeah. got a whopping 10. <laughs> All right, so I don't rank up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, got your annual there, too. So. Oh, yeah, but I needed a little bit more than that. Mm, I'm so close. Yeah. It's the next level. It cannot be right. Not quite. <gasps> the Steins! Yeah! I know! Yeah! I'm so jealous. <laughs> your time will come. Patience, patience. Screwing this up. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm just going to pretend you're in the floor. So it's the eighth one. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like it. Alright. Okay. Alright, so um, a, little, a little something before we formally get out of winter phase. Um, for Count Kinrain to consider. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, really? Wait, should I do his winter phase really quick? <laughs> <laughs> um, you get a message from um, the Duke of Lindsay. Who's that? He is Duke Durfell. Unfortunate name. All yes. Right, go on. Your fell on golf, um, and uh, <laughs> oh god, and uh, yeah, basically he has um, because he's you know made peace with Manteliot, he is turning his considerable military resources towards the task of recapturing London from the Saxons. Yay! And so, a he wants to know if he can march his army through Riddachan, and b would you be interested in sending some troops along as well? I love killing Saxons. Mm-hmm. Of course. That's why he asked. Exactly. Right. <laughs> He's like, well, I had to ask. ask. I had to ask. But you don't ask unless you know the answer. It's true. <laughs> um. So yes, year is five oh seven. Seven. Oh man. Oh wait, childbirth or child survival rules, right? Oh, did we skip that? We did. I did mine, but mine is old enough now, so. All right. Yeah. Anyone? I might have, have to do a few. Under I seven. just have one because everyone else died, and oh. my, my son is fourteen. Oh yeah, my new twins. My oh, son's fourteen. Yeah. Squire age. Oh really? What do you want a squire in you? Success. Shoot, I don't know. Success. Think about that. Bob and Walk on Conflict. Glory. Yeah. Aaron. Concord's <laughs> not here. Concord. 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 Who is also a success. Awesome. They all live. All right. So, 507. Um, word from abroad is that King Nanteliod has uh, formalized an alliance with the Duke of Clarence. Hmm. Really? So, yes. Mm. So there's some uh, expectation that he's going to be moving on Somerset this year. Right. Meanwhile, word from the uh, your immediate neighbors to the south is that King Kerdick has formalized an alliance with King Port of Portchester. Apparently they cut a bull in half ah. and stood between it and shook hands. Okay. Okay. It sounds serious. It yeah. sounds like a... S- Strange Saxon way of doing things. Doesn't it though? Wasted a perfectly good bull. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then Teliot and Duke of Clarence just shared a glass of orange juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. 
Anyway, that's the word from abroad. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's actually, that's pretty fancy. Oh, I know. I know. It's like probably worth roses, more. You know? Yeah. Right, right. They, they, they had a champagne brunch. Yeah, exactly. And mimosas. Look how fancy we are, guys. So, it's late spring. And uh, at Winterborn Stoke, Sir Wolfram is overseeing the operation of his new hospital. Um... Yes. With the church's sponsorship came a, uh, a group of uh, black friars mm. to uh, help out with administering nostrums. Awesome! And I showed them my mound. What's that? I showed them the giant's mound. <laughs> Over there is the giant's mound. <laughs> to your left. Yeah, mound. exactly. <laughs> um, yes, and your... Uh, your lands are quickly uh, quickly gaining a reputation. Oh, this is so exciting. Perhaps this is why um, you receive a visitor from Amesbury Abbey. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, Which dear. Which is very close. Oh, dear. Yes, it is. Yes. A, uh, a monk. Okay. Um, arrives bearing a bundle about a yard long. Oh, no. Really? Mm-hmm. What pray tell? <laughs> I think I know. So in the hall of your castle... He uh, presents himself, and he says, Sir Wolfram, I have been sent to you specifically. Let's have a sherry. <laughs> okay. Let's have a sherry. <laughs> You're classy, classy. Well, well you've classy. been on the road. Yeah, the, the tray comes out. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I, have, uh, I have come bearing the sword. That yeah. you and your compatriots <laughs> left at our abbey two years ago. Uh, for two years, the sword has been kept in a small chapel mm-hmm. in the vaults below our abbey. Mm-hmm. There, six monks and six nuns of our order mm-hmm. maintained a vigil of prayer for every hour of every day. Dang. Wow! And yet, that was still barely sufficient to keep this sword's great evil at bay. No kidding. Our uh, our membership has been plagued with evil visions, ill dreams, Fine. and uh, infighting, oh, dear. bickering, much more than usual. However, yes, one of our number has finally received a vision of guidance. Ooh, excellent. What to do? Significant. Sister Jenna. Uh, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Saw a vision in her mind. Damn it. <laughs> she did, did she? Yes. You plunged this sword into yourself. Exactly. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> in far off Nippon, they have a ceremony. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> no, but um that's perfect. I believe the phrase OMFG comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spit take on that sherry. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> go on, go on. Yes. She saw a vision of an ancient hill fort deep in the marshes of Somerset. Mm-hmm. In the marshes? Oh, mm-hmm. dear. Uh-huh. Where this very sword uh-huh. came from. Mm-hmm. She saw an ancient battle. Mm-hmm. Two armies clashing atop the hill, annihilating each other in blood and murder. Mm-hmm. The vision then took in a field of mutilated corpses that were left uh, atop this hill fort, mm-hmm. um, coming together, conglomerating, no! and becoming a dragon. No! The dragon's teeth were like spear points, and its claws were like sword blades. And indeed, we believe that the blade of this sword is one of the dragon's claws. That's phenomenal. That's really, really, really cool. We have uh, prayed and consulted on this matter, Mm -hmm. and we feel that in order for this sword to be rid of the world, yeah. the world to be rid of this sword, mm-hmm. 
it must be plunged back into the dragon. Reunited. And in doing so, it will destroy the dragon as well, (gasps) therefore ridding the world of two great evils. Wonderful. Wait a minute. Are we talking about an actual dragon? (laughs) I think the answer to that is yes. (laughs) (laughs) Indeed. So, that is a vision. Well, that is a stirring and remarkable vision. <laughs> Have you finished your sherry? Oh, please, let me just see you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's only too happy, probably, to skedaddle. Yeah. Get this hot thing out of here. That's true, exactly. He's got to, <laughs> he's got to unload a hot sword. Exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Back to the marshes. Uh. Now, conveniently enough, there's a war going on. In there's Somerset. a war going on in Somerset, and you have an ally who's fighting there. Then tell you. <laughs> right? Well, technically, you're allied with Cornwall, actually. Oh no, I mean Clarence. I like Clarence. Ah, yes. Yeah. Well, Clarence was never your formal ally. No, but he's a cool guy who now my cousin went hunting with at one point in time. <laughs> he's just so cool. It's yeah. Just, we're just stretching this relationship out. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to make the most of it. Yeah. Well, speaking of Cornwall, they do send a summons uh, around this time as well. Um, it is expected that Anteliod will be invading Somerset now that he has a route in through Clarence. And uh, King Idra wants knights from Salisbury to come and help defend those lands. Well, there we go. Well, there's our end. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. once we find out about the reason why we're, the real reason why we're going to this war, not the, not the whole Trumped up reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. No, what? 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 You look what? like you were about to... You're, you're oh, looking, no, you're looking no, skeptical. No, no, you're right, yeah, looking skeptical. Nothing. No? <laughs> All right. No yeah. thoughts, no thoughts. Okay. In my brain. All right then. Fine then. Well, we are nice. We're not supposed to have original thoughts. It's true. Keep it to yourself, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Don't you go write a poem about this. Don't contaminate hundreds of years of tradition just because you had an original thought for once. (laughs) Ah, that's what I say to that, sir. (laughs) Wait until it goes away. (laughs) Thank you. All right. So. um... I'm gonna just scatter my seeds. So I guess I'll send them. <laughs> you and your pagan You are a pagan knight indeed. Scattering of your pagan Dang seeds it. all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so of uh, Salisbury 75 knights, Countess Allen will be sending 50. Hmm. Also, I'm gonna have to send a letter to Arcade and to uh, Karadak about the sword. Now, Arcade wasn't in on the original sword. Right, so it's going to be a little bit longer letter to Arcade. <laughs> See, there's this sword. See, what you See, got to understand diagrams. is... Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. How's that vault coming? Because, uh... Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, oh, I didn't decide to build him. It's done. Oh, wait, no, I did. I'm you building did? the Leprosarium this year. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. how did it go? Yeah. Roll for it. It's going to be this year, so I'll roll for it okay. next, next year. Okay, Wait, yeah, yeah. Did you get the vault done? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, the vault's done, but now I have 300 Libra, and that gives me carte blanche to make a secret tunnel to anywhere within 15 miles yes. of, uh, of Newton Zoning. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. I was wondering when That's you were That's a gonna, great use of 300 Libra. I was waiting for that. Man, I was looking up some actual, you know, secret tunnels. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. Oh, yeah. Scary shit. Yeah. This will be They're like huge. yeah. This will be like the preliminaries for like the the London Underground. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, are you gonna hmm. do that? Do you think you're gonna do that? An underground tunnel? Yeah. Oh 50 yeah. Fifty mile tunnel. Yeah, but are, um, you're not gonna blow the whole three hundred on there. No, no, I'm gonna blow fifty on no. a giant hall, and then the remaining two fifty. Whatever is left of there to get me some. You need some furnishings. Don't forget. Yeah, nice furnishings. furnishings. That's what makes it a palace. Fair enough. I can spend 50 of the room for Wall to wall carpeting. And still have plenty left over. Oh, yeah. Still have enough to go 10 whole miles. Jeez, that's incredible. Hey, it's what happens when you when you save yourself to your 34. Who knew? <laughs> well, it, it really is. It's sort of the. Um, Normally, if if you don't get a free 13-year quest to just ramp up your age, yeah. Normally, that's the game is like you know pitting your survivability against the longer you wait, the better your roll is. You know. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, furnishings. Um, it's 
<laughs> you know, you, you can you can get yourself some uh, carved doors, corbels, and lintels. Mm. And you can get uh, painted scenes and patterns. Mm-hmm. You can get Ooh, mosaics. I'm just gonna check everything on that list. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I want some mosaics. I want some interesting, creepy, dragony mosaics on mine. Oh yeah. Man. See, later on, it's too, it's too bad you got the 300 now, because later on, there's so many more things to blow your money on. You know? mm. Really? Well, there's more castle building options, for one thing. Oh, yeah. And then there's stuff like stained glass and, like, you know, uh, tiling and wainscoting, and, you know, mm. you can really go. Oh, the wainscoting. Oh, no. oh, 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 the wainscoting. <laughs> and get a regular old hunting lodge going. All right. So, um, so yes. You assemble as part of the general <clears throat> muster. Sir Jaredan is uh, leading the expedition. Uh, you march west to Somerset, rendezvous at the town of Bath, where King Idra and his forces are assembled. Sir Jaredan meets with them. You're there a couple days, and then the order goes out to saddle up and march out again. Mm. Apparently, Idra has uh, requested that the Knights of Salisbury garrison the towns of Wells and Bristol. Aww, okay. That's okay. Boring. Garrisoning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Garrison duty. Well, it's just safe. It gives us time to you know do our other stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, why don't you all make me uh, trusting rolls? Oh, I'm so trusting. <laughs> so very, very trusting. Where does this guy come from? So sweet. He's not. He's not from Silchester, right? No, he's not. Okay. All right. So trusting rules. I pass my trusting. Great. So you guys see nothing wrong with this whatsoever. All right. <laughs> so. No. Why would we? We're, we're just. We're just right in the path of an invading Saxon army. Why would? Why would we think there's, that's a problem? Yeah. This is not the reason why. Yeah. No, it's not. All right. So. So yeah, you guys are uh, dispatched to Wells. Which is conveniently close to the marshes that you want to uh, go into. Now, of course, this was just a vision of a hill fort, so maybe we need to find out um, if there's an actual hill fort from yeah. the local people, like where the hill fort is. Uh, that might be an idea. Yeah. Uh, should I have my? Uh, could my chaplain like do anything to to figure that out? You know, talk to local clergy. Yeah, and yeah, sure. Should I make him? Does he have a priest skill? Uh, he has a clerk. Clerk, that's fine. We'll yeah. That. Library use role. Yes, he succeeds. Basically. <laughs> I already made it. You made it. Okay, so, um, so yeah, there is a uh, there is a, an ancient hill fort, mm-hmm. um, kind of on the border between um, uh, Jagent and Somerset. Mm-hmm. Called uh, Norton Fitzwarren. Is that further west mm-hmm. yet? On the other side of Somerset. The other side. Up towards Exmoor. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but it, yeah, it's it's kind of out out there in the marshes and the moors, so um, no major roads lead out that way. Oh, grand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait a minute. Is that in Morgaine's Forest? No. Not so. It probably wouldn't be on this. I think it is on newer map. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's Somerset. And there's Wells. Okay. Yeah. And there's Jig. Okay, there's Jagans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, you said it was. W- it's west of Glastonbury, if that's on your map. I yeah. Think it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some marshland uh-huh. that Glastonbury's in. Yeah. So further west from there. Okay. So off the map. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Into more marshes. <laughs> Joy. Yes, indeed. All right. Is there a way we could get, way we could get a guide? Uh, another, yeah. Another young priest. Sure, yeah. Get a, get a priest as a guy. Adventure to be had. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's All what right. you signed up for, right? Serving God. 
<laughs> this is the biggest. This wasn't mentioned in the brochure. <laughs> Actually, it might have been. Uh, it might, it might have been. You couldn't read then, son. <laughs> there was a photo. Uh, St. George. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. So, um... <laughs> Ostensibly, we're going hunting. Right. Right. We happen to have something more to win a board, and so be it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, is there a way that we can affix this sword onto like a spear haft and turn it into like a long spear? Oh, you clever, clever man! Just in just in case someone's sword skill is not as good as their spear skill. <laughs> well, you could do that for appearances, but as soon as you tried to hit something with it, it would probably right. just fall off. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean. I mean, you'd have to like actually lash it. Yeah. Hmm. It yeah. Would, it wouldn't make a very effective weapon. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like the idea of altering it in some way for the trip, though. Hmm. But uh, I don't have any actual ideas, so onward. Okay. All right. So, um, so yeah, you guys hit the road, or rather the trail. Yep. Mm-hmm. With our guide. Yes. Of with course. our yes, with our guide. Mm-hmm. Is is our guide a young priest? He is a, a young and earnest priest. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Pimply. Yes. Mm, very good. He's earnestly pimply. That's that's a good omen. The mm-hmm. last time we went out with a young priest, we, we took out Black Annas. That's true, actually. All right, that's and how pimply was he? Oh, he had the same exact voice. <laughs> he, he was bepimpled. Yeah. All right. So, um... Well, that's why they joined the clinic. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so you're following, um, eventually after a couple days, you know, you, you get well away from uh, from any kind of civilization. Uh, you've been following this um, rather overgrown trail um, out in these marshlands, you know, just sort of scattered spindly trees, uh, you know, just tall miserable. grasses. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bugs. Bugs. Oh, I'm not wouldn't happy. believe. Yeah. yeah, mouse is horrible. Lots of gnats. Mosquitoes the size of sparrows. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Vampires. Just keep on your chain, gents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which of course just makes it worse because you know. It's like hot and muggy. It's humid. Oh yeah. 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 It's early summer, so. <laughs> not nice. Um. Adding to your discomfort, perhaps. Is the uh, discovery of a huge man-like footprint? Giant, uh, giants. Yeah. About uh, the footprint itself was about um, twenty feet. What? Wait a minute. What? Mm-hmm. The foot itself? Mm-hmm. That's bigger than any giant I've ever heard of. It's amazing. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's kind of. At least we'll be able to see him from a great distance away. <laughs> Will we? Feel him. We'll be able to feel him. Yeah. On the earth. Boom and boom boom. Anyone have a glass of water? Exactly. <laughs> um, it looks like it's been there a while because it's actually um, in some of the drier, uh, stonier earth. Mm. But uh, but it's still in earth and not in, in say, sedimentary rock. No. 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 Oh. All right. I'd like to take a plaster casting of this. <laughs> a lot of plaster. <laughs> plaster caster. 20, 20 feet a foot. Jesus. Uh, um... <clears throat> Yeah. 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 What's the priest say? Does the priest have any knowledge about any yeah. large creatures in this part? I've heard of any. He says uh, we're we're near to the uh, the moors of Cornwall. It's a notorious <laughs> giant country. Boy, there's giants and then there's giants though. They grow big here. I guess that's so. what we're saying. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, I'm scared. But, I know, okay. I'm like trying to think, I'm like, okay, well, the last giant we took on was a size, what? And then this has to be a size, what? 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 Valorol. A size, oh, definitely a Wiggity what? Whoop, 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 yeah, let's press what? on. All right. <laughs> There's no giant here. Yeah, it does look like it's yeah, been actually, a while. Yeah, actually, I do. It's all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Gotta protect us. Bring it. Exactly, we're on a holy mission. We're on yeah. a mission from God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God's at our side. Who would be against us? Ah, you guys are pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little tear to my eye. Uh, <laughs> all right, so the next day, um, the trail, such as it is, um, becomes so <laughs> indistinct. Yeah, it peters out. Well, it's still there, but essentially the going is so rough at this point with the brambles and the uh-huh. reeds mm. and the trees 
that you're not going to be able to continue on horseback. Uh, horseback. So we need to lead our horses? You need to leave your horses, basically. Oh. Which means you'd have to leave at least one squire with them. You want to have an extra squire? Aaron did. Uh, Aaron. Concord did. I don't know. If Aaron goes crazy, do I get his squires? Like, is it like an assimilation sort of thing? Because <laughs> in that case, I would have three squires. That's true, actually. Yeah, I, I suppose so. Otherwise, would they just be stuck at home? Right, around? yeah. Yeah, not learning battle? Exactly. No, yeah, you take them on. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, so I'll leave um, one of his squires. Um, you've got his character sheet, so I don't know their names anymore. Oh, I yes. think one of them is Cletus. Yeah, uh, or... Yes, Clevis or something like that? Yeah, I think I'll leave uh, Clevis mm-hmm. um, behind. That's a good name. All right. All right, and so uh, you guys... is his name. Clevis, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, press on on foot, so I'll need energetic rolls at a minus five. Yikes! Make that shit. Um, no! Can I uh, impassion this? Sure. Although Wolfram's also kind of an old man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, success. So, one. Wolfram is the and Danny I Glover of this That's <laughs> right! How old are you now, Wolfram? 43. Getting too old for this shit. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so you, you made yours as well? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, All right, so yes, Wolfram, you do fall behind. Oh, God. You're still, you're still hacking your way through, but, you know, fall behind. Yep. Puffing and puffing. Um... So as for uh, Arcade and Caradoc, mm-hmm. you guys are sort of trailblazing with the priest bringing up uh, the rear. And presently, you hear a fearsome bellowing roar oh God. echoing out across the moors. Um, guys, which one of us has the sword? It'll be me. Maybe we should go back and get Wolfram. Yeah, probably. <laughs> How far behind am I? I would hear it too, wouldn't I? Um, would I yeah. hear it? In, in, in due course. Okay, right. good. Yeah, yeah so, so you, got, you guys can wait and have uh, Wolfram uh, catch you up. Yes, let's do that. Okay. We'll have a snack. We'll have a nosh. Yes, right. we'll have a, we'll, I'll have a quick pull from my wineskin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right, so about 15 minutes later, Wolfram comes uh, hacking his way through the brush. Yeah. <sighs> So. Great Christ, what was that? <laughs> was that that horrible creature? I've never heard a dragon before in my life. No. But I've also never heard anything like that. Exactly. That's so, a... dragon? What do we smell? Or giant. Or, or giant. But. Creature of mighty size, is the fifth part we saw earlier, produced mm. any number of strange and intimidating noises. You're loud. right. Oh my god, what there's a giant riding a dragon? <laughs> so okay, oh, if we, if stop we, giving me ideas. If we kill the dragon, the giant will fall off, and maybe that'll be bad for him, because he's, you know, something of that mass. I want right. that on the side speed. of a man, like them riding to right, the, yeah. like a flaming sword. Yeah, like definitely. Some, something that big, it reaches like terminal velocity, like 10 feet up, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're totally going to apply real world physics to this <laughs> scenario. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> just trying to save us, guys. <laughs> Someone got an idea of a dragon or of a giant riding a dragon. I'm just trying to save us. <laughs> you know, it's so badass, though. It is. Think of what extra glory we'd get for something that Whoa. badass. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, no one would believe you. I, I know. The tales we'd tell, the songs we'd sing. Oh, it's not really. The harps we'd harp. So at this point, another bellowing roar goes echoing out across the marshes in the morning. Oh god, does it just like vibrate us in our chain? A bit, yeah. yeah. And it's rattling. It's, n- it's not that far off. Uh, yeah, exactly. The uh, the young priest is crossing himself, you know. He's holding firm though, good for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Good man. Yeah, good for him. Let's give him a weapon. He'll <laughs> <laughs> just be fodder. Son, this is called a spear. You stick it. Yep. It's a boar spear. No, no, so it has the, the other end. The other end. <laughs> it has the little cross shaped at the top, so you'll be familiar with the shape at least. Yes, mm-hmm. there we go. And you want to stab the short end of the cross into whatever is coming at you. <laughs> stabby, stabby. And brace it into the ground. <laughs> I, I think you lost him. Back at son, here's a spear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Can we detect so much direction the roar is coming from? Not really. Wow. It's kind of just not it's going out over the moors, but he, does the uh, does the little guy still know where the uh, 
where the fort is? As far as he knows, you just keep going down this trail. We're going to stay on task. All right. Uh, maybe we should try to be sneaky about this. That's a Perhaps great idea. Prudence. Hunting, if you want to be sneaky. Mm. You want to be sneaky. Hunting. Mm-hmm. All right, who's going to roll? I can. What's your oh, hunting? it's all of you. Oh, oh, oh all right. yeah. Okay. Make it. Success. Make it. Excellent. Woo! All right, so. I guess, yeah. So yeah, you guys, uh, you guys managed weapons to... Weapons drawn, perhaps? Yeah. Weapons drawn, using your sword blades or your, or your spears to, to part the grass. Exactly. Step through, you know. Very delicately. Yes. Very so delicately. Proceed on with great care and caution. And after only a few more minutes of yes. bushwhacking, hmm. uh, you see something up ahead. What do we see? A remarkable sight. Oh, God. A giant. No! But a strident dragon. No. No. He's stone. He's. St- he's alive. Okay. He's- but he's buried up to his armpit. Hmm. Uh, basically, only his head, shoulder, and one arm are sticking up out of the ground. Hmm. Gracious. Mm-hmm. Wow. Is and he- uh, as you're watching, he he uh, you know bellows opens his widely. massive mouth and lets out this oh so he's bone shaking doing- bellow. It's a caterwauling. Yeah. Um. What's what's the reach on that arm? Yeah, a good twenty feet. This is a this is a large giant. Mm. Okay. All right. I say we stop thirty feet away and hail him. Yes, <laughs> we must. Does it seem like? It seems like we have a chance to make a friend here that might help us with the dragon. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna ask though. Does the ground seem quick sandy? Ah, uh, yes. Um, the there. ground looks soft. But um, it doesn't look unduly treacherous. Okay. You know, it, you know, there's there's little pools of water here and there, but. Okay. Um, he's got a, a kind of a little leather cap, you what? know, and it, it's sort of like down over one one eye, um, like. How jaunty. He kind of, well, it kind of looks like something hit him on the head. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And dislodge the cap. Mm-hmm. All right. He, he looks pretty rough in general. He's, he looks a bit gaunt by giant standards. Ah. Mm. Uh-huh. So. Mm. So he's hungry. Mm. Oh boy. Mm. What do we need to talk to this being? Uh, hopefully he understands, you know, the Lord's English. Yeah, hopefully. So hail, yeah, thirty hail, feet away, hail, ha- hail. hailing distance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hail, great man. Hail, giant. <laughs> So, uh, so he sort of blinks and squints down, you know, like, e- even buried up to his armpit, he's still about ten feet higher up than you. And, uh... Dost thou whoa. understandeth me? <laughs> so, uh, so he kind of blinks at you a couple of times, and then in this, you know, incredibly deep, bassy voice that sort of rattles your bones, you know? Mm. He says, Oh, spare me. Oh. Yes. What is your name, sir? Our knightly hearts melt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can all check merciful. He just wants to be our buddy. Pick, before let's he go kills find us. a goat for him. Yeah. <laughs> guys, just toss I'm, a goat into his mouth. <laughs> I'm getting visions of Honey I Shrunk the Kids here, guys. Oh. oh. <laughs> we will call him Auntie. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> I'm not lying. I think that Giant. 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 That's too good. Uh, no, I think you're right. We should get him. See, a treat. Yeah. Snack. yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll put him in a better mood. Too. And also might help him help us get him out. Yeah, mm. he's a little bit stronger. You've uh, you know you've got some traveling rations on you. Was that like a toothful? It's like a toothful. Yeah. How big is his head? Is it like bigger than our horses? Oh, Basically, yeah. yeah. Good thing we don't have our horses, huh? Yeah, seriously. I would not feel good about feeding How that guy an intelligent horse. How long would it take to horse. find a boar? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You seen, go hunting. Have we seen any sign? Um, With what, all of our species. What would be in the marsh? Could, uh, could feed him one of those... Could snag a bird, maybe? or could feed him one of those fish that killed Sir Tathan. Oh, like yeah. A spear of fish, yeah. yeah. Morsels. Find some eels. A nest some of eels. Eels would be hmm. easy. Eels would be easy? Let's get a number of eels. Right. We try and get a, a number of a eels. veritable basket of eels. Yes. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Slime so yeah, a hunting roll. We'll, we'll turn up some uh, some vittles. We so we'll uh, we'll indicate this to the giant. Maybe. Yes. Maybe, um, yes. Maybe have one or two of the squires maybe start you know right. digging them out a right, little bit. Right. 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 So Just hungry. 
just uh, just start Careful. start digging on the side that his arm isn't exposed, just in case you know he thinks you look tasty, guys. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. Oh yeah. Well, I made mine. Okay. Good. I made my hunting. Uh, I made mine as well. Great. Right, so something. Yeah. You know, within a half hour, you guys have rounded up some eels, some, uh, some fish. Mm. Some quail eggs. Yeah, I was thinking you know. quail. Good, mm-hmm. good. All right. And uh, you're just sort of just tossing him up Fling into his him, mouth. Yeah. Fling him into catch, the catch, catch, yeah. giancy, catch, <laughs> basically. Yep. And he's just kind of laughing. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god. Does he have a name? I asked him his name. Oh he yeah. So uh, so he looks he looks a little sad and he says, "I've been here so long, I forgot." Oh. oh. Was that his foot that we saw? <clears throat> Does it look to be about that big? Um, he might actually be a little smaller. Uh, and in fact, he says, uh, he says, no, that was Lou of the long hand. Oh, he goodness. hit me on the head. Ah. Oh. Drive you into the ground as well? Oh. Better than my friend, though. He threw him up into the sky, and he still hasn't come down. <laughs> um... <laughs> Where, where does he live? Has he heard of baseball? (laughs) No. Have we heard of baseball? Oh my goodness. Where does he live? (laughs) So that I can avoid it. So that we can never go there. He used to rule this whole island. Oh, oh! This whole island! island. (laughs) Wow! (laughs) This earth, this realm, (laughs) this... Britain. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting more eloquent the more we feed him. Come yeah, on, exactly. more, more, more food. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. He's actually kind of um, the food is helping him out. Yeah, he's kind of getting more scholarly. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, giant friend, do you know of a dragon nearby? Mm. In, oh. a, in a fort. Mm. Called uh, whatever that fort is oh, called. Yeah, with an N. The red's end somewhere. <laughs> Wherever it is. Uh, yeah, I, I s- can't read here. Yeah, something Fitzwarren, Norton Fitzwarren. Norton Fitzwarren. Mm, there was a Camp Norton. Camp oh, Norton? Oh, Camp Norton. Mm. Where is that? Could you take us there? If you get me out. We'll get him out. Well, yes, that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Squires, right. faster! <laughs> so they're digging away. And if we helped, that would negate our honor, right? Because we're not supposed to involve ourselves. No manual labor. We can get but more manual fish. Should we just go hunting again? Yeah, more fish. Yeah. Of saving someone? So if, like, the queen fell into a ditch and you were the only person there, you would lose honor well, for digging her that's out? That's not manual queen, labor, though. See, though. I'm saying you had to, like, dig her out, but it was the queen. Yeah, it's like, the queen. It's, it's if, if the queen was in a cave and there was a, and there was a land And slide. there was a cave in? See, these these are the sorts of uh, conundrums Wonders. that can come up. Would, yeah. there, would wow. anyone hear it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you did manual labor and no one was around, would anyone lose did honor? Did anyone know? She yeah. would know. Yeah. Well, actually, she she'd only know if you you know re- you know removed that final block. Exactly. Exactly. But you know maybe your mighty shout just just made it fall down. She could get knocked out yeah. for some reason. So while the squires are digging, we might as well grab them some more food, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah let's sure. go for a hunt. Yeah, take the squires yeah. Out. thirsty as hell, too. Uh, yeah. No blood isn't going to do a whole lot. So yeah. I'll try and... Well, he catches the rain when it comes oh, to Oh, 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 that's good. Mm-hmm. All right. And, and this it is, is the... marshy. We're yeah. in yeah, England, true. after all. Yeah, true. rainy old England. So he's all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Promise not to eat any of the squires. <laughs> we'll bring you something. They're going to help you. We'll bring you more slimies. All right. I'm talking to my dog. Are you going to go Slimies. Oh, and I fail. I have Okay. So yeah, you guys turn up some more, uh, some more small game. Mm-hmm. Um, when, by the time you return, the uh, the squires are kind of like um, pretty much spent. Mm, They're yeah. just you know sitting around completely <laughs> <They're> exhausted, exhausted. <laughs> and they've dug down about six feet, like all around the wow. you know giants. So that's uh, a good amount of work. Outline. Oh, Savia yeah. beating them. Yeah, <laughs> but you know you kind of realize that. There's still probably another 50 feet to dig. Jesus. All right. Then. So it's not impossible, but you'd probably want to bring in like a large work crew, block and tackle. Ah, you know, God. You know. And how long is it back to uh, to Wells? You know, the place that's supposed to be garrisoned against. Uh, About a week. About a week. Huh? Oh my gosh. It's in the priest back. 
Sure. We could do the young that. priest. Now that you know where the um, we do. hill fort is. Yeah. yeah. And we essentially know where the trail is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, um, there aren't any villages between here and, uh, and no. Norton Fitz... Warren. Warren, right? No. If there's anyone out here, they're just swamp people. So right. yeah, I'll send the... Um, Help, <laughs> healthy swamp people. I'll send the... Pr- uh, we'll send the priest back with. Uh, I'll send him back with my chaplain and one of my squires. Okay. Good. Sure enough. Large like man, can you move at all? Can you move any of your limbs? Mm. See him kind of move his shoulders sure a bit, you nothing? know. Mm. Alright. We're getting more men to come and. We're gonna uh, try and fix this now. And yeah. Fish you out. So he looks a little sad, but he understands. Where's the, is there, is there any, like, can we free him with the use of water? Is mm. there any water? Like, we like divert a river in his direction? That's what I'm thinking. Again, we large need, scale engineering project. We need, need another humans. giant. Right. Or, or Hercules. Or Hercules, yes. So I'm yeah. just thinking of... Alright. Yeah. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, it's probably getting pretty late. Yeah, it's late it's afternoon late at this point. So. Yeah. You can hang out with him for the Play evening if you heart? want. Yeah. Yes, what a great oh, idea! Oh, yeah. it's wonderful. I'll sing for him and you'll play your harp. It'll be lovely. Yay. Let's get some rolls. All right. I'm passionate. This is my sense of hospitality. Sure. Which I make. That's a great idea. And we'll do the same. Which I make. I pass. Seven. Excellent. What'd you roll? And I crit. Uh, it would be a 12. And you crit it. Yes, I crit it. Oh, nice. lovely. I crit my singing. Sweet. Right on the money. Oh yeah. All right. So you uh, you sing the giant to sleep. Mm. He has a nice, nice uh, sort of beatific smile on his face oh, as, he, a friend. as he drops oh. off. Very powerful oh. friend. Excellent. A very powerful friend. He's the best kind. He was taking him home. <laughs> we fed him. He's gonna follow us around. He's gonna follow us now. Shit. You have a tunnel you need, Doug. No, 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 come on, after seven years of confinement, don't you think you'd want to strip to those legs and room a bit? Definitely. Mm. Go on, <laughs> talk about. <laughs> uh-uh, nope. No, he needs physical therapy, which means, you know, only moving in a very confined that's location. True. So, yeah. you know, perhaps around one of our manors. That's, yeah. that's you know, what, how many acres? Fairly good size, yeah. you know, five Fitness acres. pretty huge. Yeah. yeah, it's like 20 steps mm-hmm. for him. Exactly. Yeah. Baby steps. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't troll the sheep. Up. Oh, too late. <laughs> just, just eat the ones you troll. Yeah, that's all we're asking. <laughs> he's going to eat us out of house and home. That's what he's yeah. going to All right. So the next morning. More hunting rolls to feed a breakfast? Sure, yeah. Hooray! All right. <laughs> Fail. I pass. I pass. Okay. Excellent. So, yeah, you all collect uh, some more small game. Get him fed. Leave with promises that more folks will be returning. Right. So At the very least, those of us who survive will have to pass this way again when we're home. <laughs> those of us who survive. survive. <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> all right. So you hit the trail. Before right. my chaplain leaves. Yes. I'll, um, I'll let him know that uh, he can hire people. Like I will right. pay. You've authorized. I, sure I will authorize a, a, a small stipend. You know. A small stipend. Like yeah. what would be appropriate? Like a libra. Oh no. That like, would that would get you like 300 laborers. Basically. Okay, so like so, uh, yeah. then um, like three shillings. Sure, sure. Okay, that's like a that's, that's like a quarter of a libra, right? Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like up to five shillings. Okay. If there's like haggling, I don't think haggling exists, but you know. Depending huh. on what you Under mean. the right That's circumstances. Really good question. You're trying to convince people to come and dig a giant out. Yeah. So I'll, <laughs> I'll give him. Friendly giant. I'll give him five shillings and. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Off he goes. That's good of you, sir. All right. So I'll need energetic rolls. Oh, At minus five. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah. oh, I fail. I fail too. All right. So, Caradoc gets out in front this time. <laughs> and so you're the first to spot this hill fort. Oi, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what? <So. laughs> There's, well, I have we're, a lot more of that. So yeah, we're like a... Just eat that. Oh, good. So it's situated atop a 150-foot um, high hill. 
Hmm. Rising up from amongst the, uh, the marshes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 750 feet in diameter. Mm. You can see, um, you know, the earthen uh, ramparts. Um, and from where you're standing, you can see, you know, a little entrance dug into one of the sides. Ooh. Up at the top. An entrance dug in. Mm-hmm. Through the rampart. So you go up the hill. Through the, uh, through the opening in the rampart. Like dug in by a human? Yeah. Or by something giant? No, it looks, it's, this all looks like human hand. Oh, okay. You know. That sounds pretty difficult. It's a relief. Yeah. yeah. It's quite, you know, quite old. It's all overgrown. Okay. You know. All right, let's... It's uh, enchanting, really. It's eerily quiet. <laughs> oh, great. When is it not, guys? I know, right? So, um... In fact, there's a palpable air of menace in the air. We'll need a valorous roll at a minus 15, please. Whoa! Is that menacing? Sure. Wow. And I pass that one. Huh? I pass. Hey, wow. All right. It was higher than... <laughs> Good. All right, so check your valors. Uh huh. I still succeeded with a twelve. I don't know. Oh man. Very nice. Uh, okay, so you can proceed forward. Proceed our shell. No. Quietly. Mm. All right. So um, you move out through the open space between the. Um, Tall grass and the uh, hill itself. Again, ascending this slope, still not hearing anything, mm-hmm. not seeing anything. Not a bird. Is anything in the air? Or yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a cloud. <laughs> Blotting out the sun. Yeah. No. But uh, since you're trying to be quiet, give me a hunting roll. Oh my god. This is so Succeed. exciting. Succeed. Okay. So. You crest the uh, top of the hill, up at the rampart mm-hmm. gate opening, and you look out onto the flat top of this hill fort. So the rampart walls themselves are about 10 feet high above the interior. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, you see this beast curled up right Aww. in the center. Like a kitten? Basically. That's um, yeah, the hill fort's about five acres, and it's just right in the center. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I don't get an idea of what this size translates to in real world terms. Is it like questing beast size? No, no? it's bigger. Oh. Yeah, questing uh, beast is only the size of an elephant. This, no, it's bigger than an elephant. I this one like slightly bigger than. This one weighs in at about forty tons. What? So that's about the size of twenty elephants. Shazbot. <laughs> Some kind yeah. of dinosaur, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's curled up. It's considerable bulk, um, quite visible oh, from where you stand. God. Mm-hmm. All right, Jesus. Well, we found what we It's uh, it's hide looks like it's made of chainmail armor. Wow, wow. And that's about all you can you can see from this vantage point. Mhm. Mhm. Now, from up here, like. Okay, so there's the entrance through the rampart here. Mm-hmm. Does it look like there are any other breaches in the... There's two more, so kind of in a Y pattern. Okay. You're at the bottom of the Y, there's... Mm. And if it's about five acres, about how far would it be to get to the next? Uh, well, if I knew basic geometry, I could convert the 750-foot diameter into a circumference, no. but... Uh... <laughs> no, no. That's not the kind of pile I like it squared. I yeah, think so, exactly. right? No. Yeah. Oh, so the radius is, uh, let's see, oh. 370. <laughs> so cruel, Jane. Really? No, so it's cruel. circumference is, equals to, is equal to pi d. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Circumference is pi times diameter, right? I'm, I'm like thinking back to like, I don't even know what grade I learned this yeah. in, so. Right now, the math people listening to this recording are like pulling like, their hair out. No, you. Come on! This, this is, is what's basic wrong with shit. the country. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Did we have nothing. Now. We're all English majors. What the hell can I say? 
Can't have anything nice. All right. You. All right, Internet, what's what's circumference? How do I calculate? <laughs> well, anyway, we'll just say that it's, it's, a, it's a well large hill fort, so yes. it's going to take you a while. Circumference is pi D. Sweet. Nice. Okay, so, so yay, math. It's 750 times 3.14. All right, 750 times 3.14. There's your beer in the fridge. <gasps> So, uh, 2355? 2355. So it's, uh, it's almost a half a mile circumference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's actually not bad at all. No. Nope. Not that bad. So 2355 divided by 3. So it's only a quarter mile to get to the other side, and it would be less than a quarter of a mile to each of the other entries. Yes. That's pretty nice. So it's 785 between each of the Ys. Because what I'm thinking. Yes. Three prong attack. He's right in the center. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. He's asleep. How long would it take us? Well, we're not on the horses. No, I was just thinking about walking to be one of the other entrances to see if I can get a better look at him. Oh. Mm -hmm. Another spot. Yeah. That also might be slightly more Mm covered-ish. Could be. Maybe. Could be. Right. It's just very flat open plain right here. Yes, right. I'm going to go to his... I don't know. If he's curled up like so... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sneak up on this side of his head. He's like a diagram. His head here, that way he won't open my his eyes and then see me. We don't want that. No, so yeah, he's kind of got his up. back to you right now. Well, that's so. very good. Which side is his head on? The right or the left? Here, let's uh, be on the left. Sketch it. Okay, out. I'm gonna go to the head side because mm-hmm. if he's curled up, then thinking if he opens his little sleepy eyes. He's more likely to see me from the other two entrances. Okay. And so the head's on the left and his back's to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tail, head. Mm-hmm. Looks like a slug. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's just battles. So. Oh, I critted my passion. Sweet. Sweet. So it goes up by one automatically, and you get a plus 20 to your Valorous. Nice. Well done, sir. Well done. All Good right, on you. What happens. All right, so, and then... Plus 20, and then this is a plus 12. Plus sold. 12 net, yeah. All right. Valorous, okay, good. Okay. Yeah. All right, so success. Good, good. Yeah. Mm. All right, what do you guys want to do? So Wolfram's got the sword, right? Yep. All right. Um, do you want to follow that arrow? Let's let's creep in that direction. All right, let's be quiet about it. Yeah. Okay. Are you um, kind of staying down at the base of the hill, or are you going up like uh, Caradoc did? To the view? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I guess I'm not... Let's you're not seeing the terrain. I'm not seeing the maybe top uh, maybe peak. So literally, and then it's just that, go down yeah, the exactly. there's a giant yeah. hill, and then there's like a little thing it's, cut out, and I'm walking around the rim. Is it like you're a kind of donut? Up on the rim, yeah. Oh, that seems a little too visible now. Well, no, you're on the outside of the rampart though. So you okay, that's won't be, okay. Uh, that's my question. Yeah. I'm just trying to picture. So pic- this. picture a flat topped hill, with the earth, ramped up, you know, around the perimeter mm-hmm. to a height of ten feet. Mm. I see. Okay. It's almost like a little mini crater. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. 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 All right. You so let's let's take a peek at this and then just walk around the base. Go of it. right back down. Yeah. Yeah. Especially right. once we see what the hell's up there. Because <laughs> it feels like it's gonna be something horrible. Yeah. And it is. Right. All right. So we go up. So get your view. Kitten, you guys. Then we go up back down. We go up. We go back down. I'm not the one with marvelous kittens, so I don't know how many rats that could eat. <laughs> Quite a few. All of them. All of them. <laughs> all, the, all the rats. We, we, when we were hunting, we never found a single rat. Never found any small rats. rats. No. Yeah. True. Great things. Great, great things. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So then we follow. So that the was arrow. terrifying. Yes. All right. So meanwhile, he gets to stick your sword in that. <laughs> the giant will be doing that. Caradoc uh, made your way around the uh, mm-hmm. perimeter there, so you're at the another another opening in the rampart, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it seems to be sleeping. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's a blessed thing. I don't know. <laughs> so, can I see its tummy at all? Uh, yeah, you, you get a view right, of, uh, of the head. The head itself is larger than a horse. Um, oh, it would be. And, um, Wait, wasn't the giant's head also larger than a horse? Yes. So by so comparison to the, to the giant's head, is it bigger than the giant's head? I need some true sense of scale right. here. Right. Sure, can't just say bread sure. basket all the time. It's a, it's about the same size. Aha! Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. see, mm-hmm. you see, this is gonna work. Our giant friend is these forty times. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is gonna work. Beautiful. Yes. Yep. So, um, so yeah, the uh, you see the head, you see the the belly. The belly looks like uh, cured leather. Hmm. It's not a soft, vulnerable undercarriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nuts. Well, it's more vulnerable than the chainmail-looking scales of the, uh, of the well, back. Yeah, if well, I had my choice, choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. it would be that. Um, you see some claws, and they look like, you know, the black blade of that sword. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does it look like there's a vulnerable toe wound where one of those swords is missing? <laughs> toe wound. Can you give me an awareness roll? No. I make it. Oh! You do note a missing claw. Actually. <gasps> ba, ba, ba. All right. Mm. Well, do we and run still into each there's other? nothing, nothing in there. Not like nothing at all. Just grass. Yeah. Not even spore. Oh. Maybe it's been asleep for an awfully long time. Maybe it has been asleep for an awfully long time. That's an interesting point. Is there moss growing on it? The uh, the metallic. You know, um, is it like rusty? Hide looks a little rusty actually. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> Guess when it's gonna wake up. <laughs> <laughs> when it senses its missing toe. When its toe returneth. Oh boy. So speaking oh, yes. of that, you guys yes. reach the uh, far side. You can see Caradoc, up, yes. you know, up top, oh. sort of cautiously peering uh-huh. in. You know. Caradoc, get back down here. What are you? <laughs> okay. I think what I'm going to do is just sneak back then to yeah. my compatriots. Mm-hmm. Having gained not too much new. Plenty, mm-hmm. plenty. Another so, hunting roll? No. no. Alright. 
Oh god. Oh lord. Alright. Are you sure I don't want to do a hunting roll? You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I go on. Fine. Go on, David. Well, Alright. <laughs> your move. I say we hie it back to the giant. Oh, we still aren't met up yet, though. Yes, we, we have. They've, come they've down come the hill. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. Yes, let's... Let's beat feet back. Return to our giant friends and perhaps... Continue with plan A, which was a solid plan. What was plan A? To free the giant and then somehow get the giant to fight the dragon. Oh, with well, the we, sword. Maybe we can get the dragon to hold... Or a giant to hold the dragon still so that you can stab him Fine. with the sword. Fine. That might be better Fine. than, you know, a giant who... The sweet guy. Well, you know, trying giant... to use it as sort of like a toothpick. Yeah, you're right. It's not. It's not quite in scale. It's, it's not quite optimal. But if he could hold me and ram you into the giant, yeah, yeah we could go like this. <laughs> it's the original plan of wrapping the spear. Okay, with but the sword. in this Only case, no you're spear. the spear. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All we need is some muslin. Some cotton muslin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, because I'm terrified. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to circle around the rest of the rampart and just see if there's any sign of anything else? Just in cases? Go ahead, Magellan. <laughs> I'll be waiting right here. <laughs> I'll go with you. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Like, is there a spell or enchantment? Some magic runes? Yeah, uh, it could be anything. We don't know. Something a little goat pass where he gets his wheels. St- we don't know. Where someone delivers food to him. I just yeah. find it incredibly strange that with this rampart, there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, it is incredibly strange. Mm. There's no nothing. There's no. not even ruins in there. No, I know. It's bizarro. Quite. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, it's only half a mile around. How long would it take me to creep that? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Hun- <laughs> hunting rolls from those of you who are being sneaky. Hi, Chris. Oh, yeah. I succeed. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, everyone check your hunting, by the way, with all the hunting you've been doing. If you haven't already. All right. So, okay. yeah, you guys uh, get around to the far side, peer in through that it's entryway. It stirs a little bit. Oh. Ah! He's just dreaming. Does it sort of kick like a dog? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Get the rabbit. Aww. <laughs> no, no. Be a pony. No feeling sorry about this one. No, I know. We're gonna kill it. Aww. It's made up of dead people. Bad dead people. Yeah. It's scary. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still nothing. Not enough info. Good. Yeah, let's do this. And complete right, the let's... complete the round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Meet back up at the original entrance. Excellent. Sounds okay. good. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's make our way back to our giant friend. Mm-hmm. See how the excavation is going. If well, I mean, how how long did it take us to get to the fort? Like less than half a day. So it probably hasn't even started yet. Mm. They but have not you know, even arrived to the town yet. <laughs> There is no one around. It's true. To see us do manual labor. We would know. Uh, <laughs> I, I can see you. Honor is internal. <laughs> it's not external. Damn. What? Yeah. That's goofy. I don't think I can. I can't. I don't think I'm capable of even digging a hole for myself to shit into. Uh, yeah. I hear that. My I honor hear that, just brother. Not. If honor is internal, then yeah, I can't yeah. do it either. Not with, not with my honor. Can you imagine having honor so high you can't even wipe your own ass? Right? It's amazing. That is amazing. Don't want to squire just to wipe your ass. Sully my... That's probably why I have three squires. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> What's your honor? 21. Yep. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it gets to that point. Yep. That's how you end up with a piss boy. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. All right, <laughs> right well, you let's... You swear to bang your wife, too? <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Actually, yes. Honor 40, yes. I'm going to outsource that. <laughs> just got to spend all my days being honorable. I ain't got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Exactly. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> hang out with the... Gi- are we just going to hang out with the giant until the... Uh, we can sing him songs and feed him fish. In the two weeks that it'll take people I to get here. I wonder if the dragon will stay asleep if we play it. Hurt. Might need, like, a golden heart. Magic. 
No, there's no magic. We could go and ask the giant if he knows about a magic cart somewhere nearby. We could ask the giant all kinds of things. We could. Maybe he knows something about this dragon. Maybe his friend will land sometime in the next 12 hours. Uh, <laughs> What's that whistling sound? <laughs> <laughs> or, if only we could get him to land on the dragon, see. Oh, uh, God. Mm. I don't know. Should we just sneak up on the dragon? And stab it? And it's you just want to piss it off and wake it up? Well, the, vi- the vision it. said all you have to do is drive the blade into the dragon. Is he man enough to do it? Maybe, if I pass an honor or passion rule. <laughs> no no dishonor in being sneaky in a case like this. All right, well, we could try. We could all try. We, should, I mean, we could all do it together. Oh, yeah, by the way, traps. Yes? I did notice the dragon is clearly missing one of his claws. Uh-huh, Lady Jenna. Great. All right. All right, well, so, um, we could. We could. We could. I mean, you've challenged us, and now I think I probably have to <laughs> not back down now that you've said this. Rise to meet it. Yeah, it's unfortunate. <laughs> I know. Is there any kind of folklore rule? You know, what do we know about dragons? Oof, to make a fairy lore roll. Right. Yeah, let's, let's make a fairy lore roll. Let's try for that. Nope. Fail. Okay, I crit my passion roll. Okay, so it's pretty fair. Oh, good. I got a five, which Yay. means I succeed. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, Did I mention my nephew just knows all sorts of things? Nephews are good nephews. Seriously. Indeed. Well, I'll just say that all you know is that you've heard a fair number of dragon tales in your life, and um, they're always different. Every mm-hmm. dragon is unique. Of course they are. Every sure. dragon has a unique origin and a unique weakness. Oh, yeah. This one's weakness was hopefully his toe. His toe. His His toenail. He can't protect against himself. Exactly. I like this dragon. It's scary. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So you don't like the not scary dragons? I hate Puff the Magic Dragon. That's right. That's right. I can choke on one. (laughs) (laughs) But unthreatening from the bitch. Seriously. All right. Mm. Nobody Uh needs that. Pete's dragon. Screw that guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> All right. All right. So. Let's go and kill a dragon. All right. Who's doing it? I want us all to do it together. Oh, can we hold hands? Yes. That's yeah. what I want us to do. What is that wrong? No. That's wrong. I got a mental image. Obviously, right, the person. I'm in all of us holding the sword together and trusting. Yes. With friendship, the power of friendship. The power of friendship. The empty oh goblet is mostly disbanded, and so I think That's we could true, do something man. new here. That's true. Yeah. One, the yeah. order of the dragon slayers. Yes. Ooh. Right. Well, I guess we got to kill the dragon first. First, we can't, must kill the. Sheep. Can't put the cart before the dead dragon. No. I mean, I feel like if we go back to the giant, the giant didn't know anything about the dragon. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be weeks. You're right. Before you're right. anyone comes, you could be more right. Be no, you're right. All right. Not Let's... to mention the fact we're supposed to be on garrison duty right now. Ah, <laughs> they yeah. might start to wonder after a couple oh, of weeks. Oh God, we just, that's like, embarrassing. Happen. How many other nights were with us on this garrison duty? Oh, it was just hell. us. It was like it would have been like 25 other nights. We're in okay. 20, trouble. 20 other nights. <laughs> hey, we come back with a dead dragon's head. Dragging it behind like four of our horses. <laughs> They'll let it go. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> and you know, if we never come back, we can't get in trouble. <laughs> That's right. So let's think. What time of yes. day is it by now? Uh, mid afternoon. Well, just afternoon, I should say. Okay. Because it's certainly not going to give us any advantage to attack it at night. It's definitely not. <laughs> other than increased sneakiness. Which we don't even know. This dragon might have vision like an actual kitty. In right. which case, we're still screwed. What right. color's the dragon? Metallic. Okay. Shiny. Rusty, rusty chainmail color. I mean, oh. honestly, if we surprise it and That's it's been slumbering, bet. it looks a little rusty. Maybe yeah. it's slowed down. Yeah, maybe. That we might, hit it in the belly. Might give us a chance. Or in the toe. Is there a way that we can, f- uh, that we can get our horses in that direction? Mm. You'd have to double back a couple days. Mm. And then we'd have to find another way because we couldn't get the horses right. in the first I place. Think, I don't know if my horse is... Mm, the Frank's pretty brave. He might make it. I'm just thinking because if we uh, 
if you know, yeah. we, if we charge it on horses, we obviously add the inertia of our horse to our attack. Right, and we get the extra, extra. Yeah, the extra oomph, and that might. Metal. How's everyone's movement? What's your movement rating? Oh my god, I've never looked at that. Uh, three. Three. And our my horse's movement rate is eight. So. Three. Three. So you're all you're all pretty speedy. Yeah. Um, let's see. Take you. It would take you about ten rounds to cover the distance from one of the rampart openings to the dragon itself. It is five eight. And that's is that running? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So there would be a rather tense <laughs> Very interval. tense yeah. of ten rounds. And uh-huh. if we were galloping on horses, on the other hand, it would, we'd it get would there It would take you uh, three rounds. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So if we each came from a different opening and we're galloping on our horses, there's a slight chance that one of us might make it to the dragon, Yeah. but we only have one sword. Exactly. Also, horses aren't exactly the most quiet of animals. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever makes it to the center can drop the sword. No, that doesn't work. If you make it to the center, you make your move. Mm-hmm. You maybe want the last person to charge with this, or you want you'd want the last person to charge with the uh, with the sword. That way, the dragon's uh, already the distracted. Attention has been diverted by the other two riders. Right. Yes. The old decoy. Do we have a giant net we can drop from the sky? Uh, yeah, I thought yeah, of the net. Uh, some sort of dirigible <laughs> to combat the dragon. Does, that native, does, does, does the dragon have wings? Yes, it does. Okay. It does have wings. So in its native sky lands. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a bummer that it has wings, not just their generic worm. Exactly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy is right. Did you want to go back and get the horses? What do you think? We would also get added charge bonus if we did manage to. Yeah, so we would True. have added speed, mobility, and and power. Who, no stealth. We'd have no stealth. No stealth. And around. we would have a loss of time. Which who knows? Maybe the dragon kicks in his sleep and has little dragon dreams all the time. Right. Mm. Maybe not. Right. Kind of suck to have dragon surprise you with an aerial attack though. You could have surprised him while he's sleeping. That's yeah. true. Maybe so. I've been rolling dice this whole time to see when it's going to wake up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know that's a <laughs> Gee, I wonder if David has done that. I've heard <laughs> some rolling. Uh, maybe we should head back then and just take care of this. Maybe he'll fall back asleep? Maybe the dragon? He, maybe he's back asleep now that no one's around him anymore. Hopefully. Or not. Well, we haven't, like, left, left. Yeah. No, still. you're still in the vicinity. I we're kind of just you, the bottom you retreated of the far enough to have a whispered conversation. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, prudent reckless. Great idea. That's when all else idea. fails. That's a great idea. All right. Are we going to roll both? You roll prudent first. I fail. I fail a prudent. You fail a fail. prudent. Roll reckless. I pass. Pass my reckless. Fail my reckless. Wow, Wolfram, you are a I changed man. Damn high. A changed man, Wolfram. What is, is your reckless? Fifteen. I rolled a seventeen. Wow. wow. No. Failed your prudent. You, you failed your prudent? Yeah, no, I, I passed my prudent. Oh boy. I passed both of them. So. So you're both are going. You both are going for it, though. We're both leaning towards that direction. Yes. Yeah. Um, it would probably be a good idea to strike now, while the while the beast probably has a chance of being groggy from his long sleep. Yep. Let's do it. And being rusty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah. I mean, here's the oh. question then. <laughs> Yes, hmm. there's a question. Do we still approach from three different angles? I mean, it seems like the dragon is going to have one... I think that's good. I think we should. One angle, you know, to be approached by for yes. maximum points of weakness. Yes. To, like, sneak up on. Yes. But... Um, well, once he turns to face whoever's, whoever he first notices, he'll have two points where he can be struck at mm-hmm. his weakest. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. And then one to just like stab him in the back. It's gonna be we'll just be a stick. free fall well, at some side. point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wherever, wherever we can stab him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, our, our, our weapons can you know go through chain mail sometimes. Really great. Yeah. You can crawl on our belly. Really do a great job of stealth. Be very sneaky. Very, very, very sneaky. Let's try to be very, very, very sneaky. Very. Sneakiest. So sneaky. The sneakiest. So sneaky. So very All sneaky. All kinds of sneaky. For ten rounds of sneaky. 
<laughs> each. Yeah. But hey, you know, we impassioned them once in the last and level. It's good. Well, that's it does. It's going does. at a running pace. If we're crawling, no, it's no, going to no. take us way longer. Five rounds uh-huh. of running, right? No, it was ten rounds running. Ten, ten rounds running. running. Oh. So it's it's going to take us like 20 rounds to crawl crawling in. Crawling in my belly like a reptile? It's mm. going to take forever. Yeah. Well, maybe not crawling, but moving very slowly that way. If it does end Can up starting to Can we do like a rain charge. of fire? Like someone gets a running thing and just jumps off the top right. of the rampart? <laughs> wow, you are full of vim. <laughs> full of vim. Okay. Well, the nightly thing to do would be- definitely just be to do a flat out run and just hope, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> I don't need counseling on the nightly thing to do, sir. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if we wanted to try and be quiet <laughs> sorry, while running, we could reckless. take all of our armor off. I was thinking of that. Oh, of wow. I was going to take Doubling all my armor down off. down at that point. Totally. Well. I mean, would armor really do anything against... Uh, exactly. Being roasted it's alive in your armor. Pound, right? yeah. True. And, uh, yeah, you would you would move faster out of armor. And silenter. True. More silent teeth. Silent teeth, yeah. But silent-y. instead of having, you know, a walking, like... Six points of. Yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah, risk armor. reward. The risk reward is too risky for the reward. We're all gonna die. It's really scaled. We're all gonna die. Yeah, we're all. We're doomed. We're doomed. All right, guys, let's die. Yes. Now that we have the proper attitude, let us do this. Okay. So, are you taking the armor off? I am. It was, was always totally my intention my to do idea. so. It was totally my idea. So you gotta Go stick ahead. with it. I feel like I have to. No, you don't right. have to. And no, it's not. I didn't have to. say it. I have all right. To. I can't, um, I'm not gonna let just I'm gonna be the what the one knight who's running in there with, with armor on. You're right, that would be bad form. And I would think <laughs> Dave's like, I'll be the one knight. Yeah, yeah. You, you are. <laughs> no, no, yes. I will because I'm gonna be the decoy. Oh. oh. Wow. He's getting on the cross again. There he goes. Sir, All right. There he goes. Here we go. <laughs> just got married. Oh. I can't yeah. die yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. In terms of sleeping kitten form dragon, uh-huh. which of his feet was missing the claw? Was one of the front, the front claws. It's a front claw. Mm-hmm. Front claw. I don't want to have to reinsert it into the hole. I'm just going to nail him with it. I don't care where it goes. Exactly. That was the vision. The vision was plunging the sword into the Into dragon. the beast at yeah. some point. So maybe you should take, exactly. take the back? Yes. Fine. Maybe? Fine. Does that work for you? Sure. Although, oh, here, let's see. Okay, here's circle, sleeping dragon, head, butt, back. It could be decoy and you come in this way towards his exposure. So we're going to need the diagram. Know. I don't know. Yeah. We, um, Tonight's not really planned this much. If I, oh, in a situation like this? I don't yeah. think there's any problem. Can I make a battle roll um, to impose odds? <laughs> no, in this situation, I think I may so. want to I may want to approach him from uh, wherever he would calls. have to turn the most, <laughs> because that way he would he would have to expend the most energy to to you know come to face me, and that would give you more time right. to get into its flank. Okay. So maybe I should approach from the back, and you know yeah. once we uh, once we see it stir, I'll make as much noise as possible. And you'll be making noises by running in your armor. So. Oh yes. No. No? Does that, no, 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 I said now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> does that mean that we want you to have... Let me think. I'm just trying to think. Like, so this is going to take us longer to be stealthy and get there. We're not being stealthy. We're going to run. We're going to run for it. I was thinking that we were all going to try to be stealthy. Oh, we are? Yeah, and, all right. then, and then once it starts stirring, then I'm going to really it. noisy, and then you guys go for it. All right. I was just trying to think, like, would it make sense to... Try to cover as much ground stealthily as possible. All right, try and get fine. a little closer to it. Yeah. Okay, good. Once the jig is up, he'll just we'll start. jingle about. Yeah, like start a, doing jumping jacks. Like a mummer. <laughs> I was thinking more along clanging my sword against my shield. That also works. Yeah. 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 Shouting out ridiculous. a proper challenge. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. So uh, you guys wow. get into position? This is yeah. intense glory. Okay, so okay. Where, where, where are we coming in? What is yes. the decided... We don't All right, so I'm coming in from its, uh, from its backmost point. Okay. And then you two are coming in from the other two areas. Fine. Okay. Okay. Well, from which side do you want to take? You have the one with the sword. What are you, what are you feeling? I'm going to the right. Okay. I'll go left. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> so it reminds me huh. of like the game where you have to hold your breath 
as you go towards something and it's like you either run and use up your oxygen faster or mm -hmm. you go slow and you have to decide on the mm -hmm. balance between the two. Mm. So you guys slowly start walking mm. towards this dragon. Yeah. Eerily quiet as always, just the wind rustling the grass. Heart thudding and yeah, exactly. <laughs> just <laughs> shields and weapons, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make some rolls. Oh God. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So, dragon wakes up. <laughs> because of course he does. Yes. Because of course he does. Um. All right. So. What what angle is Wolfram coming in from? Facing facing what? This is the bottom of the Y. Yeah. Facing okay. his tail. All right, kind of the butt side. Yes. Okay. All right. So you see its eye crack open. Uh huh. And it raises its head, and there's as it as it moves, there's the sound of like rustling chainmail armor Woo! and the sound of like clanking weapons Woo! like coming from within it. Woo! And, uh, and you see that what it was sleeping on oh God. were all those bones. Oh, God. Hmm. All the accumulated bones were even oh. kind of pushed together into a, into a bed, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Oh Cat keeps a tidy bed. You have to... It does. <laughs> well, it's You're right. big, big creature, so it covers a fair amount of ground. Ooh but it looks up, and it's looking right at you. Uh -huh. But then its head swings back around over its body and is looking straight at Arcade. Great. <laughs> I guess this is about the time. <laughs> clang, clang, clang. Dragon, I've come to challenge you. Clang, clang, clang. Worms, you just peed or down your leg. Yeah. <laughs> it's the part they don't show on TV. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, so yeah. And I start running towards it. All right. It uh, it uh, you know, kind of lumbers up into into motion, into action. Go! I'm going. All right. So it's Wolfram starts charging. Yep. As it turns around and sort of flaps its wings once. Oh shit! And, and just kind of you know skims along you know the ground. Ah! You know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> So, so can I oh make yeah, a horses dodge might have been a bed. What what okay. you're gonna do is you're going to make a weapon roll. Lovely. Um, at a minus fifteen to your skill. Great, I'm going to impassion. Uh-huh. My honor. Yep. By my honor, I hope I don't die. I succeed my honor. Excellent. Oh, so, so it's a minus five net. Lovely. Uh-huh. And I succeed. Excellent. Okay. What did you roll? A four. A four, okay. I'm dead. I rolled a three. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god. Alright, so. Yes. <laughs> that was the I've just shit myself sensation. <laughs> oh, I know, right? I'm gonna need more medication. Just the one, the one <laughs> empty spot in his front claw just like passes. Yeah, through. exactly. <laughs> Actually, it was Thinking. it was its its maw was oh, just coming right at you, and you, and you see stench. its teeth literally look like spear points. Oh god! Oh, and uh, oh. and then you just you just like matrix dodge out of the way oh. at the last minute as it, as it just oh. goes you know oh. Oh. whooshing past you like a like a freight train basically. Oh. No. And you do actually get to roll damage because you you succeeded. Great. So. Let's see how much damage I don't do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's gonna be fascinating. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do any damage. Uh, that is 10, 17. All right. 17, yeah. That's so, not enough to kill a man. No. Oh. <laughs> and you have a, you're using your sword. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, your 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 blade connects with the dragon, and you see a few like kind of rings of the mail fly off. You mm -hmm. know. All right. Well. That's something. Yeah. Well, from meanwhile, you're running. Yes. Flat out. Uh, let's see here. So you have to move the string. So basically, it managed to put a lot of distance between you and, and yeah. it by going yeah, after exactly. uh, Arcade. Hmm. So um, basically, it you're going to get there in. Let's see. Well, see now you can you can kind of cut across the interior arc of this of the circle. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So. I am attacking. In five rounds. All right. 
All right. All so right. toe to toe. Doing like a trebuchet. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well. All right. So so the so the dragon kind of like. You know, as it missed biting your head off. Yeah. It. Um, it's awfully long. Can't you just have another round to like plunge into? Its well, what what it's doing is it's righting itself. It's it's you know landing and you know putting its claws into the ground. So all this turf goes flying. Mm. I think that should and take it's, one whole round. And it's it's wheeling around. So I'll say you get a free attack on it this round. Uh-huh. Okay. Do I still take the minus fifteen? Uh, no. Okay. No. And you're still in passion. So. Great. Uh, so that's a success. Okay. Just a regular. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's better. Not by much, but uh, 22 damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I mean, you, you hit it again, and uh, you definitely, you know, uh, cut into it. Okay. You know. <coughs> and, like a fighting uh, fly. Yeah, basically. <laughs> now it just made me mad. All right. So that was round two. Yeah. Okay. Round three... It's going to come after you with uh, its two claws, so that counts as two separate attacks, so you can uh, Fight split. defensively. Fight defensively, okay. And uh, split. Is this uh, again at minus 15, or...? No. Okay. So yeah, I'm fighting defensively and splitting. My mm-hmm. skill is now at a 35, so 17 and 18. Mm-hmm. Alright, okay, so 17. One. Fail. Okay, I 18. hit. 18. Succeed. What'd you roll? Uh, 10. I got a five, so I hit with one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need more dice. Later, guys. You're wearing Six. armor at least. <laughs> Later, guys. Yeah, his size is what, and his strength is what. Um, yeah. At least he didn't crit, but I'm dead. Oh my god, a crit on this would be insane. Yeah. All ones. <laughs> yeah. All sixes. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while. Oh, I can't handle this. So I have 16 armor. Wait for it. 51 points of damage. All right. Uh, wait, hold on one second. Um, uh, did you already subtract from armor? No. Oh fuck you, dragon! I'm still alive. <laughs> 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 I'm unconscious, but I'm alive. Oh my god, alright. And I took a major wound, so I need surgery. Definitely major wound, and so. That's going to be. Uh, lose a point of. Uh, I think that's strength. Double check here. A three? Oh no, I rolled a one. Oh, so that's size. Size, okay. You're gonna lose a point of size. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, from your massive amount of flesh and blood loss, I think that would make sense. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. All right, so Wolfram, as you're running, you see, you know, basically you see uh, Arcade just get torn down. Yeah. Oh, he's, hewn. Yes, he's mm. bashing away at this dragon and then and then claws yeah, flash it. out and then he, you can't even see him. He's, he's down on the ground. All right. The dragon wheels around, comes at you. All right. Okay? Yep. Oh, boy. So, I got the magic got the sword. sword with both hands. You want to impassion that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll say okay. that because you were almost there, it's not going to be able to take flight. Oh, good. So It'll it's just, lumber towards you. It's just going to come after you with a bite attack. Okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Right. Yeah, here we go. Well, I'm All still right. running at it too. Of course. So, you were, so you were at the far end, so you were already at 10 rounds. It would take you like 15 rounds to get to this thing. Unless it came after you. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes? Yes. Did you uh, impassion? I made the impassion. Okay. And so my total for sword is now 26, like totally and yes. I rolled a 5. You oh. rolled a 5, so that's uh, plus 6 is an 11. You'll be okay. What'd you roll? I rolled an 11. Ah! Sparks fly as your sword clangs off of the spear Wait, sword Man. versus spear, sword wins. <laughs> so what happens is it comes at you with its bite, with its uh, open you know, yes, mouth, it's maw. and, and you, you just swing at it, yeah. and you knock out like the whole front row of its teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is its own claw. Mm-hmm. It's working! Oh. All right. New All round. Right. Woo! Okay, roll the 14. So that's a plus six. Uh, a 26 uh, was my is my sword. So you got a 20. Yep. So you crit. 
that shit. I also rolled a crit. <laughs> no! <laughs> but double crits, it's, it's still only a d3, Cancels right? Cancels out. Cancels out. <sighs> so you take oh, you're killing me, man. two points of damage. I swear to God, I rolled a 15, oh, and its bite attack is a 15. All right. Oh. Two you two take points two of points of damage. Of damage right. uh, as I know. Oh. Lord have mercy. <laughs> 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 All right. This is intense passion. All right, and so you get to roll for his damage, right? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll. All right. D3. What am I doing? All right, one d three. Yeah. No, d three. All right. Uh, oh, it's a d six divided by I'm two. I'm not thinking clearly. Yeah. All right, a four. So, so, so two. two. All right. Take that, Good dragon. Two. Yeah. Do the two. Third round. All right. Son of a gun! You're so glorious. <laughs> All right. Um, ten. So, so 16. sixteen. All right. That beats my thirteen. Yes. Oh. Yes. All right. So now you need to roll damage and beat its armor. All right. Oh, that's not going to happen. All right. Can't What's... sound like still like twelve rounds away. Oh god. Okay. It's a big hill for it. I know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh good. I was thinking it'd be equal distance okay, for when I get there. Yeah, 17. because they moved away. Um, sorry. I'm having a hard time. Twenty-two. This is only miniatures. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. With the fancy sword. With ye fancy sword. Which is ugly. You drive the blade into its soft palate. Yes, Yes. I do. And it doesn't even have time to emit a scream. It just falls over, and as soon as it hits the ground, it disintegrates into hundreds of suits of. Chainmail, shields, oh. rusted oh. weapons, skulls, bones, oh. and, and just spills out across the, the lawn, basically. Uh, what about the sword? The sword is... Um, just disintegrates? Basically, you, you look at the hilt, uh-huh. and it's just the hilt. Yeah. Um, yeah. The uh, the blade itself snapped or, or sure. disintegrated. Oh, I toss it down. I toss it down. So. All right. So I'm going to try and run to the fallen comrade now. Indeed. Hey, we got squires with us, right? No. You did bring a squire each, I think, right? Mm-hmm. I've yeah. still got two. You, still you got two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So, so who wants to make the roll? Who's got the highest first aid? Which squire does? Mine is 17. Oh, you Mine's win. Mine's only got 15, so. Yeah, you win. <laughs> I'm bashing it. Can For the I dragon slayers. The squire? For the dragon slayers. No, Aww, it's like that's, it's... that's what separates squires from knights. All right. They're not passionate. 12. Yes, Alright, so D3 is going to be spinning around as I try and roll it. One point. <laughs> okay. But at least I'm not bleeding out. Right. You're stabilized enough to be dragged out of there. <sighs> we'll All make right. a we'll make a like a Is there anything like amidst all of the wreckage? You're like, gonna loot the dragon? Oh uh, no, I was just, just curious, proof. mostly like, I don't know, like some source of its yeah. mm. a gemstone or something glowing or something. Right. something. Or some horn skull or a rune. Not really, it's just all rusted, decayed. Just a bunch of garbage. Garbage. Like if you had dug it up, basically. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Just curious. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good question. No, well, you, you you won't be questioned on your word as knights, you know, I mean... You, I don't know, it was mostly like, oh hey, if we had this evil sword that we had to go and destroy, hopefully they destroyed all of it, but just in case. Absolutely! You yeah. wouldn't want that recreating itself. Oh yeah, no, this this all looks distinctly... Obliterated? Obliterated, Well yeah. and truly done. So, <laughs> I'm still running to you guys. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette? <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, no, my my pouch of pipe weed. <laughs> oh. Well, now Sir Arcade can say he survived 16d6 damage. Yay! I should get, like, an achievement for that. You should get an achievement for that. And, and I'll just tell you, uh, I'll tell you, Jen, on that yes. bite attack. Yes. If he hits with the bite... Not only do you take 16 d6 damage, yeah. but if you're half his size or lower, and his size is 80, he eats it. So yes, you get swallowed automatically. E- so that was it. That wow. was all. Oh, you would have been able one. to like stab him from the inside of his mouth though. I would like that. That would have been like sliced well, out through his throat. If you stayed conscious through the 16 d6, which that no. would be the which no. Operative. Although, but if you took only 16 points of damage, it's possible. Just digesting the sword would have cut him up and would have done it all on its own. 
Maybe. 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 Possibly. Would have just nicked, a, nicked him on the way in? Sure. And yeah. It would have been painful. You got peritonitis and uh, go. died a slow and painful death. Yeah. Four years later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As a rusty metal dragon, we don't have to worry about tetanus, though. No. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes. Sure. <laughs> oh, God. Tetanus? Don't, don't talk to me about tetanus. No. Oh, God. I got, I got eviscerated, that, like 90%. Oh, my, I know, my rusty right? Blade. You were using yeah. that colon. Where are you? You're getting that, John. Oh, God, yeah. Mm. Mm. Sir Arcade, the. the not I feel like a shit. Talky. I didn't even make it there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for all I was worried, but, but you were the gumption that pushed it, hap- made it happen today. So Maybe. I will still write an amazing poem about you too. Absolutely, very, very good. Blow your mind. I will pass out. And we'll you all, it. you all participated equally in slaying that thing. So yes, you're, we all, did. you're all getting a share of the glory. I mean, you found so. it. So yes, exactly. yes, you did. You you laid eyes out. on it first. Yeah. It counts for something. <laughs> just imagining, he's already gotten first aid by the storm. <laughs> 15 rounds. Yeah. 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 It's a long time to catch up. <laughs> it's like a five acre hill fort. Yeah, so. you can't see him yeah. for a while. Yeah. No. no. The funny thing is that this is an actual hill fort, by the way. It uh-huh. actually exists. Um, and uh, so I just found a map of it, and, and that's the layout that you know wow. that it has. Uh-huh. So I didn't know there'd only be three guys. Isn't it, it perfect? Worked out really well. Yeah, yeah. it's the esoteric order. Uh huh. There mm. we go. Mm-hmm. So we're the dragon slayers now. Is there anything else under that giant pile of bones? Since mm. I'm still probably closer to that than yeah, I am exactly. my comrades. Yes. You're still. Does, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Trip yeah. Over, At the very trip least, there anything? might be some loot or just I don't know ruins, something interesting. Actually, yeah. If you want to, if you want to kind of pick through things, you could definitely find some gold torques and you know oh. a few things of that nature. So. Sure. I will loot material. the dragon's yeah. nest How since I'm so not even close to. Them. No. Yeah. <laughs> How long ago was this battle? Um, judging by the weapons, yeah, it they're was still wearing torques. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, it, you know, you 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 guys as knights wouldn't think of it this way, but basically Iron Age. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Dang. Probably about fifteen hundred years ago. So that spans uh, why everything is so rusty. That <laughs> dragon was uh, was made of inferior metal. <laughs> That's right. That's it. Right. Um. If only it had been a bronze dragon. <laughs> I know, right? It's next uh, year. Steel sort of cut through him like butts. <laughs> so yeah. Something mildly hot, Adam. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mildly hot. He's bending. We're Here good. he goes. No. <laughs> His little snoop drips. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. So uh, so yeah. With with about a half hour of picking through the bones, you Considering collect. I still wouldn't have reached. <laughs> well, you collect about twelve libra worth of, of gold and silver. Well done. All right. right. Be distributed evenly amongst my comrades. Mm-hmm. By that time, I assume that the squires have constructed a suitably workable litter. Yes. Litter, that's the word I'm looking for. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Hooray, fever dreams! <laughs> Through the Pop swamp. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hey, there'll be plenty of leeches. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, I'm ah, just gonna get naturally leech. Ah, You're not ah. lacking for leech. Yeah. Good. Well, it's all right. You don't have to worry about the bad humors taking over. It's, oh, fine. it's true. All the bad bloods getting the bile. All yeah. that bile. Yeah. 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 Ooh, it's just yeah. all gone. <laughs> it awesome. is true, though. I mean, it's science. So we're gonna some, let some maggots eat away at that. You'll be right as rain. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Eat all the bad meat. Yep. Uh huh. You gotta love them. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, so we're going to pass by the giant on our way back. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what do you want to do about that? Well, uh, he's probably hungry. Well, it's also probably nighttime again by now. By the time you get back to the giant, yeah, it's, it's sun, sundown. Yeah. Sing some songs! <laughs> <laughs> tell him the tale of the dragon. We have dragon. to tell him the tale. Yeah. Bring him some Sing food. him the tale. Mm-hmm. Sing him some I'm going to compose. All right, great. Mm-hmm. I'll sing it. I don't care how I sing. <laughs> but I okay, can't. succeed. All right. All right. Succeed. It's passable. I'm yeah, doing, it. doing it. Oh, but I'm going to do a harp roll, too. Sure. Can we send out the squires for uh, for food for him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, I okay. should roll right. for them. So, no. All right. Did you make your... I did. You did. Yeah. Great. Very good. I was hoping for some crits. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, you keep <laughs> the giant entertained. And, um, you know... Get yourselves fed, get the giant fed, pass the evening. Find some leeches for this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh. Can't believe he's still alive. 
Look at him. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 ribbons. look at him. He's all pale and he's yeah. missing like a quarter off of his torso. But you know, <laughs> he lost a point of size from from the meat being being uh, carved out of you, ripped yeah. out. Yeah. But yeah. you know, there's a lot of good quad meat there. I'm sure that. Mm. Oh so yeah. Just clear uh, out some of that. Uh, yeah. The bun. Mm. Half a bun. <laughs> <laughs> the, the claws are curved, you know. Yeah. Sure. Just do a grab and grab and pull, grab and pull, get a, a 360. Get a 360, yeah. yeah. At the very least, a 180. Damn, Hawk. Pull the pork. Yeah. Pull the pork. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So does that mean there's just big chunks of him, like laying in the field? Uh, I think the the loss of size is more just due to muscle atrophy during your recovery process. So. Oh. Um, yeah, damn it. Wait yeah. a minute. He hit me and I failed my roll. What? What? I, didn't I? Yes, but you succeeded on the other one. Oh, okay. And all you have to do is succeed on one roll in that oh, okay. round. Yeah, I thought I, I noted that because I, in that moment, I thought, oh, you failed that roll, but then I remember you made the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That six points made a difference, right? Yeah, just just making sure that yeah, I didn't you know error myself into alive no, when I no. should be dead. No, you're fine. No. Mm. Okay. Appreciate your yeah. diligence, though. No, I, yeah. The brain goes into panic mode. Right. Yeah, I understand. I understand. All right. So, um, um, since further uh, further details would be anticlimactic at this point, um, we'll just montage it. So, what do you guys want to do with you know the RV, this giant? Do you want to hang around until the engineering crew shows up? Do you want to head back? Do you get this guy back to uh, civilization? Yeah. The chirurgeon. Yeah. We have to attend our our Mm -hmm. dragon slayer brother. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I can disdain chill with the, the giant for the next week and play him for You could. <laughs> sure. You want to do that and direct the proceedings sure. to make sure he stays on We'll just buddy. wait to make sure that they find him, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Right. Don't abandon him, and I'll go back. With our squires. That sure. works. Mm-hmm. All right, good. Nice. Oh, no, he doesn't feel abandoned. Exactly. No it's worry. A, it's a very vulnerable position to be in. Yeah. Right. 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 So he wants to catch a meals for the next week. Okay. So, let's make a quick roll here. Does he choose a name for himself yet? Mm, you could, no. You could, you could oh. choose one for him. You could mm. sing him one. Mm. You mm. might in your time together. Maybe. Maybe he liked one of the names you uh, you sang about. Oh, that's true. That's Call true. him uh, Andre. Mm. You could do that. <laughs> it sounds a little French, though. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I don't yeah. know how he would feel about that. Yeah. Andrew? Maybe that he's destined to rule the other island. Big island. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Gord the Frogs. Off he goes. Mm. <laughs> just, just steps across. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> gets a good running start. And whoop, there it is. Right across the English Channel. Okay, so. Alright. Very good. So, um. Well, give me some time to work on my poem about you guys. Absolutely. Caradoc hangs out in the marshes with the giants. And... And, um... And, uh... Wolfram and the squires escort their wounded brother back towards civilization. At a, uh, at a certain point... You encounter a um, what looks like uh, one of the swamp folk. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's Howdy. just kind of um, hanging out near the trail. Um, his banjo. Kind of. Well, he's he's sort of. Uh, his <laughs> He's sort of um, you know squatted up on a rock. The swamp show right um, Bearded, you know, matted hair. Sure. Like in his beard. Yeah, yeah. Um, folk. Sort of raggedy, raggedy yeah. clothes. But then as you get closer, you realize he's also wearing rusted armor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Who and are you, sir? Identify yourself. So he blinks at you. He does? And he re- you realize... It's Merlin. <gasps> oh, yes! oh! Because guess what? Yes! I, I rolled for your Midsummer Madness activity. Oh, boy. And I got three, which is the appearance of a passing night restored your memory. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty magical. That is amazing. So basically, what you did, what you what you've been up to, mm. is oh, yeah, that um, initially you were taken in by some shepherds. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Let's see. Where Can you that? imagine just the number of like hill folk and shepherds just seeing like mad knights all the time? Yeah. 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 Like oh oh the poor thing he must have gone mad. Here's yeah. another one. Yeah. 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 So Here's you're, where the summer warms. Put him somewhere Basically, warm. <laughs> yeah, you were taken in by simple shepherds, so that gave you checks to awareness, folklore, and stewardship. Oh, yay. <clears throat> but then eventually you got out. They left the gate open, oh. and uh, you got out. <laughs> and um, and you wore, you wandered the, the wastes like an animal. Uh, uh-huh. And so that gave you checks to uh, fairy lore and hunting. Wow. And then the appearance of a passing knight restored your memory, checks to heraldry and recognize. Okay. So. Wow. <laughs> Sir Aaron has returned. Sir Aaron! Hey, I know you. <laughs> Aaron! <laughs> oh my god, what'd you do to my cousin? <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Arcade! <laughs> I'm going mad again! Oh no! No! We're falling! We're falling! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, and so... Escorting the wounded arcade and the stinky Sir Aaron. Oh god, that armor's got to be so <laughs> foul. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> back to uh, Wells. Woo wee! Oh. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't fast. Yeah, 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 sir. yeah. Oh man. Well, just dunk him in a well. Exactly. There's gonna be wells. The well. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's true. <laughs> just put him next to a well. Just dunk water. Yeah, hope you're gonna have to quick. reroute that. Um, fires, peel him. Yeah. <laughs> peel him, yes. Gains a point of app from his mud peel. Ah! <laughs> you can see his shorn. Yes. Oh, your hair is going to be lustrous as soon as you get a haircut. I know, right? Um, all those natural oils. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. The so, paleo diet. Yeah. The paleo <laughs> Oh, my God. Just, just the mutton diet. <laughs> Got a total six-pack going squirrel, right now. Just squirrel, just totally. squirrel. Yeah. Had to chase him down. You look better yeah. than ever. Oh. <laughs> All right, so, so we make it back to Wells. You make it back to Wells and um, receive some um, potentially upsetting news. Oh dear. Can't take another scare. <laughs> Has Wells fallen? <laughs> I mean, everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but. Wells is in the hands of Nanteliod. No. Um, Nanteliod is um, marching his troops through northern Somerset, apparently. Hmm. Uh huh. But also apparently, King Kerdick has invaded Salisbury for the third time. Oh God! Uh, Yeesh. Dick. Yep. <laughs> What's more, King Idra will not release the Knights of Salisbury to return and fight against this invasion. What a dick! Uh oh! I think I'm going to Salisbury anyway. I'm going to ride a giant to Salisbury. <laughs> yeah, let's see how they feel about uh, having a giant on our side when, mm-hmm. we, uh, when ooh, we get there. Ooh. I'm going to send him a strongly worded letter. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you do? I think that's what you do, yeah. That's I think that's the indicated. really angry about something. Yes. I think we should go burn a dick on his field. <laughs> Standard operating <laughs> procedure. Guys, I think we should take the giant with us back to Salisbury. If he'll go, right. he's an individual. Yeah, well, we'll ask him if he'd like to. We'll, <laughs> we'll ask him we'll very nicely. We're gonna need a little bit of help. Yeah, Imagine he'd, he'd like about to help us. Some Saxons. Yeah, hmm. tiny. What are Saxons? <laughs> they well, taste really good. They really hate the island when they're trying to steal it. Ooh. There you go. That's how you talk to a giant. Oh. They're burning the land. They're hurting us. Destroying everything. Uh huh. So, um, uh, I'm gonna desert. Mm-hmm. Go back home. Okay. Gonna wait for uh, Caradoc? Or you wanna hit the road right away? I understand if you don't. It's gonna take him like two years to get better? Oh, uh, wait, me? No, Caradoc. Oh, Caradoc. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah, Ar- no, no, no. Arcade Caradoc's will take fine. a while to get better. Caradoc's yeah. fine. Yeah, his healing rate's only. Um, well, his healing rate's four, but. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, so yeah. it'll take still a number of weeks. He'll be like conscious. Ten weeks. <laughs> well, he'll be conscious by the time that yeah, by the time that they dig up the giant, at least. That's true. Okay. And did they send out someone to dig up the giant? I right, yeah. I mean, okay, that was good. Their instructions. So. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna pay. Yeah. I was... Ooh, I got a crit on the chirurgy roll. Oh, that's so, nice. So. All right. So. Here. Oh, thank goodness. That's terrific. That's terrific. So should we at least wait until the giant is um? You're a fire. Taken <laughs> out. Um, ask Sir Aaron. <laughs> After you get filled in on the background. I yeah. Don't know. Oh, how much is it for a suit of chainmail? Ah, I'll grab that. Yeah, because I think Aaron needs to re-equip. Uh, yeah. 
Sorry about that. Okay, chain the mail is, um, let's see, in Wells you can get it for 180 denarii. 180 denarii. Oh, that's very reasonable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so 180 denarii for a chain. Uh, how much for a sword, lance, spear? Oh, whole, whole nine yards, eh? Well, you know, if I'm gonna go back to Salisbury and yeah. fight the fight yeah. the Saxons, I need to. Uh, True. Yeah. Let's see here. A uh, sword is 75 denarii. Um, spear is one denarii each. Mm-hmm. Really load up on those. Yeah. Um, hey, your squires are already here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. true. Yeah. Um, shield, five denarii. Can I just pay like one libra to get everything? Seems reasonable. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Have someone even like now paint the shield for you? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right. And then he'll. Uh, I guess he'll just take Shalange since. Um, sure. Yeah. And riding back to uh, Salisbury? Yep, I'm done. Um, is the giant dug out? You guys want to wait around for it? Yeah. Yeah. Might as well wait until my cousin wakes up. All Make right, sure that he's going to wake up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm just checking what a crit on a Chirurgery roll oh, sure. does for you, if anything. Um, you don't die yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, maybe it clears out all the toxins, and that's <laughs> like you feel great. I no longer have great. tetanus. We managed to recover all the leeches. Yeah. Never like a ten-year-old. Let's see. On a critical success, the patient's health improves rapidly. For that week, he gains double his normal healing rate that week, in oh, addition wow. to avoiding deterioration. All right. Lovely. Mm. So, yeah, that week he uh, he gets double, so um, uh, four now becomes 12 for that first week, so he's conscious. Great. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. He'll be, he'll be happy to hear that we won. <laughs> Thanks to his bold sacrifice, we made it. Indeed. Oh, good. Everything went black for a second. I, would, yes. I thought I was dead. No, you're not dead. You're back. And we won. We Yay. win. Yay! It hurts to it hurts to say yay. Yes. <laughs> Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Yeah. <laughs> the good news is the tapestry will be made. Oh, good. Mm. It will be commissioned. Yes, we will have ourselves a huge tapestry. Made. Wow. So, um, just in case you're wondering, a huge giant has an app of three. So oh, there you go. Oh, wow, that's painful. Okay. Well, you know, he's got the cap covering most of his face, yeah. so. That's, that's okay. true. Actually. Yeah. So I'll right. that by two, and yeah. So, um. <laughs> how long will it take for the, uh, do we know how long it'll take for the pe- peasants to get him out? Basically two weeks. Two weeks. All right. I don't know. No? Like, really? It took the squires, just a couple of squires, just one day to dig six that's, feet. Two that's weeks total, though, like, including travel time. All oh, that, I you see. Know, okay. Gathering okay. okay, that seems reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Two weeks just to dig him out. Maybe we can hold him. Maybe we can talk to him in the two weeks. You know, see if he'll uh, he'll join us in Salisbury when we dig him out. If he says no, then we'll just ride on without him. What's the what's the what's the giant's uh, attitude towards helping us with our little conflict? This would be a classic call for an orate roll. Ooh. Oh. Well, voila. Uh, yeah. So Aaron doesn't have anything in orate. I'm willing so. to passionate attempt since we've been chatting for what's, a while. What's what's your, your normal orate? It's five. But let's impassion just a little bit. See how it goes. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> that was cute. That didn't count. It landed for me. <laughs> it jumped up on my there. I succeed. Okay. That is good. That is good. I... No. No? I failed at once. Yeah. All, All right. right. 
Can I so, try? Can I try? No. Yeah, you can try, but since he's already, you know, a bit, All you right, know, made yes. up his mind, it'll be yes. at a minus five. Fine. For the empty gun. No, Dude, I gotta have a new passion for the dragon slayers. But I'll deal with that later. Right now. <laughs> I feel that as well. It's fealty. Pass that, Eddington, and so we go to our Orate, and I fail by one. Oh, goodness. Isn't it's that really something? A thing, isn't it? Yeah. All right. All right so then. I can understand. He's been locked up away for a long sure. time. Why would he? No, that's fine. That's his choice. Yep, exactly. So he, you do. know, he basically says, "I have to stretch my legs." It's nothing <laughs> like stretching your legs like a walk to Salisbury. <laughs> <laughs> So he uh, he hoists himself basically by the, you know by the time everything's said and done this this massive uh, you know sort of uh, conical pit has been dug down you know towards you know his uh, knees basically mm. you know far enough for him to get out. Mm. Um, the other thing that slowed down the digging is just you know it's marshy land so it's not. Oh yeah, it's very sort of fills in as you dig. Oh yeah, uh, that's but, terrible. Yeah. So, you know, it gets to the point where he's like, well, I can take care of the rest, you know. Okay. And so he, he just kind of scrambles up out of this pit, you know, and then stands up on these somewhat wobbly legs that are, you know, the size of castle towers, basically. Damn, jeez. And, uh... <laughs> You're an impressive sight, my friend. Yeah, as he's standing, all these dirt cloths are raining down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone step back. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but he, uh, yeah, he stands and... And uh, gives a mighty stretch, and then with with uh, you know one um, one stride of his massive legs, he's already 200 yards away, and he just there he goes. You know, strides off into the marshes. All right. All right. Well, 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 go go. With whatever God you hold with. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Salisbury. Woo! All right. So what's that gonna look like? How do you want to enter this war zone? Oh boy! Crap. Just the three of us. Let's see, where are we coming from? Can Honestly, we, uh, I don't know. Can we passion our our Salisbury brethren to join us? Well, see, that's the thing is, it's actually, um, you know, you uh, Jaredan is up in um, Bristol. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Sir Leo, good old Sir Leo, mm. is uh, commanding the garrison here, and um, you know, he says. Uh, I think the thing is, we obviously want to get out of here. Right. But if we all tried to just ride out at once, it would bring down, you know, attention on us exactly. immediately. Mm. Exactly. And the Cornish uh, forces would, would be on our tail. We don't want that. So I think the idea is we do want to slip out in small groups. Uh-huh. Mm. Um, obviously, eventually they'll notice, or word will get out. But since it's all just mm. us Salisbury Knights here in the town itself, yes. it's going to take them a little while longer to to figure that out. Hmm. Um, the question is, where do we want to rendezvous? Well, there's a road directly from Wells to Vagon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Castle. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming... Do we know where Countess Ellen would be right now? This time of year? This time of year? Let me take a look. I mean, it looks like that particular road goes all the way across to Sarum and then to Duplain. Mm-hmm. That's probably the road that they're coming in on, yes? Mm. Yeah. She would um, normally this time of year either be at Serum or Evel Castle. Mm. Or Evel. Oh. Mm. Honestly, I think no? they're just going to Serum then. Mm. Serum? Because it is on the, the road straight through. I think we'll yeah, make it, though. Where, where, where where's the battle? Let's stop at Vagon and, and see what the, uh, what the situation have? is. I, have to get I guess I'm thinking about, like, in general for our fellow knights who are following. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like an ultimate Yeah, where's point. where's the rendezvous point? Yeah. 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 Do we ultimate know where the fighting is? Well, if he invaded from Wessex, then... We're going to say Duplain or they Pigsbury? Would, they would probably go to Sarum again. All right. No, oh, this is... That's what they've done before, but you know they might not do what they've done before. They might not. Who did they ally with? They allied with Port, mm-hmm. and is Port more southern than Wessex? Um, it's kind of um, adjacent S- to the east. So okay, so they wouldn't really right have any moves make, any other right, direction. Right. Well, I don't know. They might. Are they down here in this bit? <clears throat> By Abel? Mm, uh, port. 
mm-hmm. quartz people? No, they're further east. They're like so off like the map. S- southeast of Wessex? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so they would. Okay. Uh, yeah. So maybe we should convene a Vagon, and uh, that would give us more information. I know, but um, we're saying like for the other knights that will be coming. The later knights? Yeah, like everyone. Later? Because that would be, that's the furthest in uh, in uh, Salisbury. Well, I'm saying they have to pass through Vagon anyways, though, to get to Sarum. Right, but if Sarum is being... Uh, Sacked. If Sarum is, you know, being besieged at this time, you know, by the time we get to Vagon, uh, you know, the three of us won't be able to do much, but if we convene and force at Vagon, we might be able to, you know, strike at the army somewhat. Maybe. Maybe get word to uh, to Ritachan. There's still going to be weeks out there where other people in Wells. Mm. That's what I'm thinking about. We're talking about the ultimate rendezvous for the other people for abandoning ship from Wells. Mm-hmm. Which would and be Bristol. And Bristol. Where's Bristol on this? Um, north. It's uh, Is Wells on that map? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's north of Wells. Kind of like just okay. straight, straight north. Mm-hmm. So where are you saying, Jade? Where are you saying? Where you it doesn't be? really matter. Because all right, I'm voting Vagon. I say Vagon. Just because it's on the edge of the forest, it seems strategically wise. We could drift back into the forest if it's a situation. We find ourselves in a situation. That's untenable. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, I mean, we're just riding along the road. We're yeah, let's just go anyways, along the road. So. We'll just go along this nice road we've got here, through the Selwood. Okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to make that journey without too much stress, because it's been a lot. <laughs> Just saying. Getting too old. I'm Getting too old not for this shit. Finish that <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, you guys slip out. No problem. Good. Take the roads. Us. Now, recall your uh, adventures in a hostile country before. Oh yes, hunting roll. To go. Indeed. Who wants to be the one to make the roll? Um, that's a good question. I have 15. Uh, Sir so Aaron does not have a very good hunting. It's only 13. Okay, uh, 16 on hunting. I guess that's good for then. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yes. do you want to? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so you can basically, you know, you had your three choices. You can be stealthy. Right through the areas where no one lives in the thin, brushy forest referred to as a waste that grows everywhere between villages. Stealthy movement is slow and brings with it a danger of getting lost. Uh. You can uh, be careful. You travel quickly, skirting the heavily populated areas, but otherwise move along an established human road or path with no stopping to eat or hunt in the daytime. Mm -hmm. Or you can be reckless. Take the biggest (laughs) roads and ride all out. Oh, hell. Well... We've got Arcade with us. He won't be able to... Be able Do to we have Arcade with us? Uh, arcade with us? No, Arcade no. with us. No. not have Arcade with us. But, I, I mean, would, he would only slow us down, right. and our other forces are still in Wells. Fine. Yeah, so I imagine they're going to space this out, so Arcade would come with one of the later nights. Okay. So how do we feel about... Well, should I, should I roll Reckless Prudent? You could. Well, yeah. Do Prudent first. Prudent. You're not as reckless as you used to be. We That's already true. waited two whole weeks, so... Yeah. All right, I passed my Prudent. Oh, so you passed your prudence? Yep. So that's that. So that's that. Yep. So we're going to take uh, cautious. Oh, we're going to go straight up cautious. Cautious. Stealthy. Instead of reckless. What, uh, what were the choices again? Stealthy, careful, or reckless. Oh. Careful. You're going careful. Careful. All right. Careful. All right. Yeah, yeah, actually, being, being, stealthy, being stealthy earns a prudent check. No, I'm sorry. All right. Careful. By the time we get there, it could be all over. The whole point of leaving would have been... Yeah. True, true. All right, make a hunting roll. All right, here we go. We're going to impassion this. Okay. With loyalty. Okay, I made... Oh, I rolled the wrong die. All right, hold on. Hmm. Okay, I made that. Six. Six, make it. Made it? Yep, made it. Regular success? Yep, regular success. Okay. Travel 15 miles in a desired direction, but observed by many folks, enough to be sure someone is spreading the word to the Lord. No oh, crap! The hope is to outride the response. All right, fine. Yes, Edie, I know. Mm. Oh, the dogs 
they found us. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. <laughs> Unleash the dog. I was in a weird position. All right, so let's see. Traveling miles, 15 miles. There's a scale. On this thing. There's All a right, scale. good. Yes, there's a scale. All yeah, right. Very good. So that's five. Oh, well, that's actually close to the way through Ten. Yep. Fifteen, indeed. All right, so that's one day of travel. Okay. What do you want to do with your second day? Keep on keeping on in this fashion. Still careful. Oh. No, what? Uh, what? At that point, we're pretty much, uh, we're pretty much in Salisbury at that point, right? Almost. No. You're, we're you're, you're, uh, Manchester, you're, fi- you're five miles from that turn off to Warminster. We made a, exactly. So, I mean, if we went fast, we'd be able to cover that really quickly and be in Salisbury. If you did the reckless. All right, you want to yeah. do reckless? Be out of their they jurisdiction. Yeah, right, what are we losing now? Yeah. All right, so for this you make a horsemanship roll. Ah, oh, you're switching it up on me. All right, here we go. I fail. Ah! <laughs> Why? Oh, dear. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Well. All right, so you do get intercepted by some Cornish good, knights. Good, good. Fine. Can we walk them a good one? I've been waiting Non-legally? for this. I've been waiting for this. Well, basically, you guys, uh, you know, you've been riding about half the day. You're, um, you know, maybe a couple hours from Vagon. And, um, and you see some uh, Cornish knights blocking the road ahead of you. Mm-hmm. So, what do you want to do? How many? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Ten. Wow. Uh, do they see us? Well, they're blocking the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just may be setting up a roadblock. They might not have seen us yet. They do see you. They do see me? All right. Yeah. I mean, for being reckless without this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna do? give him a piece of my mind. You can try to parlay with them. <laughs> I'm gonna parlay. I'm gonna right, give him okay. a four. Sounds like we're gonna give him a four. I yeah. can't imagine the Cornish would stay and hang in Salisbury if none of their homelands have been invaded. Mmm. So Cannot they, uh, imagine the dishonor of a man who failed to protect his own land. Ooh. Cannot imagine. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Harsh scolding. That's it. Yeah. So I'm yeah, they've. Older, uh, right? Exactly. Oh yeah, I'm telling. I'm gonna love you that gray beard. Talking to. I'm gonna love you the gray beard, man. <laughs> she Shaking it know at you who I rage. am. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, they, just they've uh, a they've pulled a couple carts across the road to block uh, progress. I'm gonna kick at them. And uh, <laughs> and so uh, three of their number come riding for. Yes. Yes. Um. So yes, they say, uh, who are you? Stand back, sir. This. <laughs> This is a, um, these are uh, uncertain times, and the king has ordered that any traveler on this road be uh, detained. Which king? <laughs> king Idre, of course. There's a lot of kings bandying around yeah. right now. I'm just making <laughs> sure <laughs> which one you're working for. <laughs> Sir Aaron in too many kings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah just exactly. about. Yeah. Well... Peace of your mind. And I said, the goal of that man. With friends like that, we need enemies. We need Saxons. We are on our way home to protect our homeland. So they uh, they kind of look at each other and smirk and say, you Salisbury Knights won't have a home very much longer. Exactly. Get out of my way. I have a hospital. I have a hospital to defend under Christ's laws. Not going to happen. Oh, shit. You are under arrest in the name of King of Cornwall. Right. There's ten of them, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How hard would it be to like jump those carts? Well, mm-hmm. we have to overpower the ten knights. Is the hard part, I think. Just barrel through them with a spear. You could just yeah, you could just try to run the barricade. I'm not going back. Yeah. Like, the I'm bishop is helping me put up a hospital. I don't have time for this Spear on crap. one side, sword on the other, and just write them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, ah. Roadblock. All right, let's. Sorry, um, I'm just thinking Mongol style, where they're like holding their reins with the sword on each side. Right, just, right. I've right. never right. seen that, yeah, dude. It's pretty oh. magical. All right. I was inspired. I was like, yeah. Oh, could I do that? <laughs> let's try that, just for fun. <laughs> 
for shits and giggles. All right, so we're riding through these guys. Yes. All right, with uh, so we're hitting them with our weapons then. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's do some opposed weapon rolls. All right, I'm uh, I'm loving my family. <laughs> Are we surprising them at all with this? No. Mm. I succeed at loving my family. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> For once, I think this might be like one of the first times one of my characters has done that. <laughs> yeah. All right, I need my new crit assassins. Nice. Crit wow. honor. Wow. It goes Man. up by one. Remember. All right. Okay. So, six. Crit, get it, crit. Wow. I got a 19, which is a success. Holy shit. All right, so let's see. One regular success against the crit, two misses. You guys just basically give each other a knowing look. Yeah, like Put you spur see. to horse, mm-hmm. just barrel right through. Yeah. They don't try too hard to stop you, you know. They're just kind of like, hey, stop. <laughs> <laughs> but as you're riding away, uh, you do hear one of them shout like, we'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Provided we survive battle, provided we survive uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get to Vagon. All right. So you uh, you reach Vagon just a couple hours later. Mm. Um, you find that many knights have already gathered here. Okay. The uh, the news is immediate and distressing. No. Shit. Serum has fallen. No. King Carter. No. Shit. So after that wall. Exactly. Yeah. Threw in all that cash. I feel like a Frenchman. <laughs> all right. Fine. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm right. So sorry. You too. Painful. Frenchman. Right. There are. <laughs> there are rumors that um, it was. More due to treachery. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. W- w- who's the name? Yeah, who's, wh- who's, who's getting whispered? Oh, well, you know, a lot of names are getting thrown oh, around. Come on now. Sir Blaine's yes. one of them, of course. Oh God. The hatred. I bet he would love nothing more than to be able to drag Ellen back to Silchester and just yeah, keep her there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Others are saying it was maybe a half Saxon serving girl or something. You know, mm. there's there's a lot of rumors. Wild conjecture. Wild conjecture. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What, uh, any news from some of the other um, locations? Uh, Ebel. Um, Love Comagos. Duplain. Duplain. Duplain was overrun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Amosbury Abbey. No, please no. No, no dire news there okay. yet. Um, Seems like they might have just beelined it to Sarum. They, it was pretty much just a decapitating strike, exactly. Oh, God. Yeah. So, um, you know, what, what is known that is that about two-thirds of the county uh, is being overrun by raiding parties. It was a nightmare. You know, uh, most uh, peasants and, you know, people out in the country have retreated to whatever near nearby castle or fortification they can yeah. make for, which would mm-hmm. include all of your yeah. castles. You know, yeah, we'll run with peasantry. Yeah, right. peasants and cattle. Oh, jeez. Yeah. All right. Yep. So. This makes me even angrier. Yeah. So essentially, um, that is that is the word. Countess Ellen is uh, here. Oh. She is. Is mm-hmm. she? <laughs> yes, what does she, she have to say for herself? <laughs> she uh, she says that. Um, Obviously, um, Nanteliot is, you know, the uh, obvious hope for the fate of Salisbury. Yes. And um, that she would like, uh, you know, she would like some knights to ride for Nanteliot's camp and see if he will come to Salisbury's aid. I volunteer. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Uh, any word from the castles, how they're holding up? They seem to be, uh, apart from Duplain, mm. uh, they seem to be still standing strong. Okay. I was but gonna say, I have hella fortification. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you guys did a good yeah. job um, getting ready. Can she respond to rumors about the betrayal of uh, Sir Blaine? <laughs> did she decline to comment? Is she... Sir Blaine's even around? <laughs> I have no comment at this time. Right, exactly. Um, Sir Blaine's is um, around, he is, oh. and... Um, Ellen says that uh, it does indeed appear to have been an inside mm-hmm. job, but mm-hmm. she doesn't know who what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, she wasn't actually at Serum, you know, when it fell. Yeah. Right, she okay. was at Apple. She was at Apple. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad she made it here safe. Uh, do we know where Le- uh, where uh, Nintendo is? is? Uh, you don't. You just heard that he was, you know, maneuvering troops through Northern Somerset. So. Northern Somerset. Mm, hell, it's gotta go right back. Well, I mean, we can sweep around where we were encountered, right? We can go through some other um, mm-hmm. direction. Before, really. I mean, there is this through, road through Warman. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, really. Bath. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's like Northern Somerset. So let's uh, let's do that. Okay. Alright, so... Um, get fresh horses. To my fresh, or, yeah, to my fast horse. Yeah, can, yeah we, um, exactly. can we requisition some fast horses? Absolutely. Um, coursers, I'm guessing, instead of, uh, mm-hmm. instead of chargers. chargers yeah. Easily done. But keep chargers with us in reserve. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, so yeah, you're uh, mounted up and ready to go first thing the next day. And um, I could just kick King Idri right in the teeth. <laughs> hate Idri? Hate Idri? Hate Idri? Hate. With a passion. Hate with a fiery right? passion. Or suspicious Cornishmen uh, direct a trait, maybe? Mm. Suspicious Cornishmen? Mm-hmm. If you wanted to blame all Cornishmen. Kind of like that. It's kind they, of were kinda, they were kind of snide at us at the border. Do, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but hate Idri would also work. Hmm. Yeah. Why, why choose? You could do both. Mm. Cool. I also want to roll passion for the dragon slayer. Group. Yes, absolutely. Let's roll some passion. Let's yeah, roll some passion. Passion's out of the way here. Right, mean, is there right anything there. that would determine whether or not we decide to just put this all this hatred towards an entire group as opposed to a specific you person? You could hate Cornishmen, absolutely. I'm just saying, like, is there any again trait that might? Would would move you to broaden one of the, your the, spectrum? Re- would it be reckless? Would it be yeah. suspiciousness? Would it be cowardly? Generally, generally suspicious. Suspiciousness. So you could do a direct a trait of suspicious Cornishman. You could do a hate passion of there Cornishman, you or you could do a hate passion of King Idri specifically. Mm. So. Mm. Mm. I think s- I'm more inclined to just go with King Idris. Mm. To hate. Can you throw? I do. Maybe. Because I do. <laughs> I don't know, I can also understand that crash members just do their job. The way we probably would have. I don't know, I don't think no, we would have been as douchey would've. about it. No. And uh, I think we might have let them through if they were defending their home. Yeah, they have dumb faces, too. Because I've got one <laughs> hell of a hospitality. Or I've, got, I've got a love family, I've got a really big hospitality. <laughs> I've got a huge hospitality. Yeah, it's, it's really big, guys. Okay, just, then. Just saying. That's fair. So maybe hate Cornishmen? I think I'm just going to go suspicious Cornishmen. Okay. All Cornishmen. Yeah, I'm gonna go hate Cornish. All right. So for the suspicious Cornishmen, that's plus six. For the hate Cornishmen, uh, you guys are going to. Let's see. Roll a two d six plus eight. Oh, eighteen. Uh, nine plus seventeen. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And then for the loyalty to the dragon, slayer dragon group? slayers, that's gonna be a four d six plus six. Damn. Hell yeah. Now well, when you kill a dragon together, kind of thing. Tends to be a bonding moment. Kind of a big deal. Twenty. Twenty one. Ten. Twelve. Eighteen. <laughs> well, you were out. Yeah. Or no, is this? At least it's not ten. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Because Aaron was picked up on the road home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, not Sir Aaron, uh, Sir Arcade. Arcade. Oh, okay. yeah. all right, that's Arcade. Nonetheless. Still not. <laughs> brings back be... some pain, painful memories. Yeah, it's uh, a little tempered. Mm-hmm. Me though, I'm <laughs> off the hook. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just found a tiny dice. Hey yo. Yeah, that, that hit the ground a while ago. Okay. <sighs> didn't look like Okay, so. Very good. I'm invigoratedly hateful at this point. Ah, yes. Yep. They are going to go down. So, take the road out to the, um, towards uh, Bath by yeah. Warminster. Yeah. Are you trying to be sneaky again? Honestly, I think that since we are this time mounting a major war plan... Oh yeah, a, a it major betrayal. It would be super, super helpful to be able to find him. Mm-hmm. So just be kind of open about it. 
well, no, I was gonna say opposite. I think like stealthy. the stealthier we are. Oh, like, so we get past the borders at least, yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. because it's I really dependent upon us to actually find him. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. That's a good if point. we don't find Not him, end up it's in kind of a bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That would be bad. yeah. Okay, so... Because if they don't know where he is, they don't have yeah. any idea to have how long to expect us. Yeah, so right, right. So we get right. to in a dungeon and they may think that... Oh, yeah, they'll never know. It'd be terrible. Yeah. yeah. So I think stealthier. Sorry. Okay, Fine. stealthy leader, make a hunting roll. Who's the stealthiest? Uh, well, it's still hunting roll. It's oh, it's yeah. a hunting roll. Highest. Mm, okay. Alright, oh, I rolled it. Roll around, die. I'll put some of these away. Where's his 20? There it is. <laughs> okay, I crit. You yes. crit it? On the passion. Oh, on the oh, okay. passion. Okay. So that's plus that 20 to your hunting. Right. And the passion goes up, right? Yep. Oh, excellent. I know, I forget that, like, every single time. I do too. I, there's too much. Because once it gets to a certain point, it becomes this kind of monster that feeds itself. Yeah, monster of auto crit. Because you start, yeah. All right, Desiree so. did get a, a character up to a passion of 40. Damn. So it's an auto crit what? on every roll. Yeah. All right, so I critted the hunting. Critted the hunting. Critted the hunting. All right, roll 2d6. Seven. Seven. Okay, so you move ten miles up from Vagon, which is... <laughs> We're like almost to Warminster. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so you use ten. Alright. So, yeah, let's say... Actually, you do make Warminster. Alright. All right, another uh, another day's roll, please. Mm-hmm. You're still under passion. Excellent. I crit it again. Nice. Roll another two d six. Four. Four. Okay, so we cover seven miles. So you're in the Blakemore Wood. One more. Yep. Yep. Okay. But you're totally stealth in your way. I mean, there's nice. no one seeing you. You're following deer paths. Paralleling the road, you know. Crit again. Another crit. 2d6, please. Seven. Okay, that's uh, ten more miles. All right, so you follow the uh, the flow of the Avon River out of Blakemore, uh, still remaining uh, unseen. Uh, but you do actually spot some knights in the vicinity. You can make a heraldry roll, all of you. Same passion with my field. Failed. Which I passed. I failed. I make it. Heyo. Check your heraldry. And uh, you actually recognize um, the arms of uh, Prince Elon de Carleon, son of King Anteliod. Ah, oh, fortuitous. Mm-hmm. All right, let's make our way. Hail! <laughs> All right, so uh, you meet up. He let's see recognizes Sir Wolfram right away, and uh, I can forget that beard. Yeah. Nobody, nobody, mm. <laughs> and um, escorts you at once to uh, to his father, mm. who is actually ensconced at Bath. Oh, cool. how convenient! Mm-hmm. Cool, I can get that bath now. Yes. <laughs> It uh, it fell to his uh, to his army uh, just a couple weeks ago. Hmm. So um, at the uh, yeah at the uh, the old Roman palace where he is uh, holding court. Tacky dump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really yeah, too much. It smells like chlorine. It's just too much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> chlorine. Um, he uh, he receives you all and. Um, <laughs> Listens to your tale. Just imagine him like in the bath, all steamy, like a <laughs> yeah. towel. Like, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Oh no, baths will be following this audience, but uh, here in the the tiled and marbled uh, hall. Okay. And um, so he receives you all, listens to your tale, but doesn't seem to be particularly surprised by any of you. Oh no. He says, um, "I am afraid that Salisbury is a victim of Cornish treachery." Damn them. Damn them. Those are just a buffer zone to them. Indeed. More than that, um, my uh, my spies have informed me 
that Cornwall and Wessex have struck a secret alliance oh, and intend to divide Salisbury between the two of them. Oh, my like hell they will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> um, send word to your compatriots, scattered as they may be, mm-hmm. to uh, rendezvous here at Bath. You will join my banner. And uh, once I have completed my conquest of Somerset, uh, we will march against Cornwall and Wessex and smash them once and for all. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that too. I like smashing. I do too. <laughs> yeah, essentially, uh, King Cadwy brought his army out of the marshes and joined up with Mantelio. Oh, fantastic! Oh, yeah. Yay! Cadwy. So Cadwy. his. Uh, Nantelliot's army is bigger and better than ever. Awesome. Good. I knew I fought yeah. on his side at the joust for a reason. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. the melee? That's mm-hmm. awesome. We had to get it. That was prophetic. Yeah. Alright. So, next that's week good. will be the big climactic showdown. Woohoo! Is it going to be in the following year or is it in the same year? Following year. Okay. Following year. He has a finished conquest of Summer Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Which is great. We can get a little bigger, make some rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little better. Shrink a little bit. Sure. (laughs) Shrink a little bit. Lose some mass. Yeah. Lose some height. Uh huh. Sure. That's true. Get crappier and wirier. We did lose a point of calm this year. All right. Working right. Oh. Finally lost a point. (laughs) He's down to 19 calm. Yeah. He's still incredible badass. Uh, what glory did Sir Aaron get last year? Or would he have gotten any? No, you don't get glory when you're mad. Okay. But he did get a boon. Yeah. The boon, the famous boon. I'll yeah, that's a word that I enjoy. Okay, so you don't even get your legal error when you're mad. Oh, no, you get your annual. Oh, okay. You always get your annual. Cool, that busts him up to, uh, I think, 6,000. Or no, 5,000. Oh, nice. Yeah. So good. Now I'm anticipating Paradox will finally be over at the threshold of 3,000. 3, nice. Okay. Thanks a lot. Caradoc, yeah. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, good work on the dragon. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, just to note, that was a small dragon. Oh, for God's sake. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. It's yeah. the size of a giant, essentially. Small uh, giant. Yeah. Small giant. Yeah, a small giant. No, that was actually a huge giant, but it was a small dragon. So. That was a huge giant? Mm-hmm. The 20, well, the 20 foot. There were bigger giants. There were bigger giants once, yes. Right. I don't know. Is this friend who smashed us still around? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What happened to that guy? Lou of the long hand. Lou. Yeah. Who names their giant Lou? I think he named himself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh my god. Oh Thanks. man. Mm-hmm. Epic. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are where I felt my brain and closed just yep. a little bit. Oh yeah. my so will we, will we possibly be back to full capacity next week? Oh, I hope so. It's a big battle, so yeah. the more people, the better. Be and Renee, Renee should be here, unless you know, yeah, she tends to be. I'm going to look through my notes because there should have been another night that returned either this year or last year. Oh my God. Uh, from, a, uh, from a short quest. Ah, oh. a mini quest. Wait. Yeah. So... So I'd have to. Uh, What's that? Who was asking for Rudishan's armies again? Oh, the Duke of Lindsay. And actually, that uh, that's something else that happened is um, that was a successful campaign. Beautiful. And London was liberated. Oh, hooray! hooray. Cool. We're in the vicinity. We're free then. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh lovely. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I love the smashing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to have a fancy group here. Oh. Mm. You can take it home with you. Oh no, he's back in 510. Dang it. Uh, oh. No, we got a waste of waste. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was 506. Mm. Nope. Still, he's going to come back with like 2700 glory, so. Woohoo! Or, well, technically 3700 because he got 1000 by being knighted, so. Yeah. <laughs> Good man. Excellent. Well, I spent. <laughs> yeah, that was a. Uh, was outrageous. That was a harrowing year. Yeah, that was good. Outrageous. That was good. I I wasn't sure I was gonna go either, and the dice rolls were truly magnificent. They were truly magnificent. Seriously.